one and peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and let us have some quality time together as you see today our topic Muhammad is a prophet actually this is what we did last time but always there is more things to say and to talk about as you know that Muslim they claim that Muhammad is a prophet however even though Muslims they have thousands and thousands of articles if not millions and they claim in those articles or videos or even movies that Muhammad is a prophet I could not find any of them proving Muhammad to be a prophet actually all of them prove the opposite so if we go and search in the internet we will find as an example for 48 signs of the day of judgment 10 major signs of the day of judgment uh, signs of uh, judgment day I mean you name it it's all over and even some videos which is funny like even about belly dancers look like the belly dancer is a sign of judgment day but you know we know that belly dancers were exist in the time of Muhammad and before Muhammad and after Muhammad but suddenly the belly dancer is a sign of a day of judgment so I'm going to open my Skype to give the Muhammadan the opportunity, as usual, <clears throat> so they might show us what we cannot see. I mean, why we cannot see that Muhammad is a prophet? Why we see the opposite? Why we see that Muhammad is a fraud? Muhammad is a scam. And instead of seeing that Muhammad is a great man, he is a prophet of God, and uh, here we go, this is the proof. So we will open our Skype and we will come specially sheikhs. If you remember last time, we have someone from, uh, he's from Yemen, he lives in Canada. Uh, he said he will call his sheikh, but obviously his sheikh, you know, don't want to dare to speak to me. <clears throat> Uh, look like he is online. He is texting me. I'm not sure. Let us see. Maybe he has his shake. <coughs> Hello. Yes, Ahmed. How are you doing? Oh, uh, hey. How are you? I'm fine. Did you speak to your shake today? Uh, yeah, I spoke to him. Okay. What happened? Uh, yeah. He just doesn't want to speak to uh he doesn't want to do things on youtube what is the problem in youtube why he don't want to speak to me in youtube why don't don't uh, muslims do a uh, invitation to people to convert to islam yeah they do but it's he's more like uh, what's the word like old school? He likes to do things uh, privately. Speak to no them problem. You can them. speak to me. He forget about you. Uh, forget about uh, Skype. I mean, I forget about YouTube. Speak to me as if I am not online because I don't want to lie to him. I don't lie, you know. Yeah. I want to say, okay, yeah, yeah. I am in YouTube, but he can speak to me as if I am in the street. Who care? Yeah, yeah, I know. I spoke to him. I told, I showed him some of your videos, uh -huh. and he just says that uh, what you call it. Uh, you're like like an Islamophobia. You hate uh -huh. Islam. Uh, Muslim, yeah. uh, and so all you is, do is, so this is the answer all, for all the disasters I showed you. The answer is Islamophobia. No, he just says uh, you twist uh, scriptures and things like okay, that. Hold on. And you you're see, not interested you see, you see, in Islam. You see, you, you, see just... my, my, you see, my friend, your prophet is sorry, your sheikh is not a sheikh because according to the Quran, the Christians are the most nice people to the Muslims. Is that true? Um, who's the nicest people? Uh, the Christians? The nicest people to, to the Muslims, the nicest ever to the Muslims is the Christians. So how does guy yeah. say Islamophobia when the Quran say the opposite? He says we are the nicest. So are, is he accusing your God to be a fraud? Accusing your prophet to be misleading you Muslims? Saying to you that we are the most nice people to you? In the same time he is saying no, those Christians are the most phobia, Islamic phobia? Yeah, I know. I told him, but I, 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 I told him like uh, you should have a debate with him and just expose him on live, uh, mm -hmm. live debate. Uh -huh. But he said he's not interested because 
he, uh, that person is not willing to listen or uh, accept Islam. Do you ah, know what I mean? Like, okay. But your prophet was talking to people who don't want to accept Islam. So is he better than your prophet? Astaghfirullah. So? I mean, don't you see he's making excuses? So if you don't talk to those who don't want to accept Islam, you talk to who? To the only the one who accepts Islam? Because that's mean they are Muslim already. No, that's because most people don't know about uh, Islam. But uh, he says you know about it, but mm. your your heart is blocked. You, you don't care about the, uh, the religion. You don't care. Oh, uh, okay. Well, if I don't care, how come I'm here? You see, and why I want to talk to him then if I don't care? Obviously, he is running away from me, my friend, and it's time for you to leave Islam because, as you see, he lied to you. He says that those have Islamophobia, and the Quran says the Christian never have Islamophobia. Actually, they are the most close people to the to the to the Muslims. Chapter five, verse number eighty-two. So he lied to you. This is number one. Number two, he is saying that Allah, he, uh, my heart is blocked. Even if this is true, Allah he blocked my heart. So what is my problem? Is it the Quran says Khatam Allahu ala, uh, uh, ala asma'im? Allah he blocked their ear yeah. and their heart, etc. So your shaykh is not a shaykh, he is shaky when he heard. No, nah, he's name. not shaky. He's okay, a well, good I, ch shaykh, I challenge but... I challenge you, my friend, nicely. To call him right now, he says, Listen, this guy, there's thousands and thousands of Muslims leaving Islam. So it is your duty. Your duty to expose him in front of everybody. You see, because when we talk to somebody he do not know, the Muslim they say is this guy he don't know. He's, he, this guy he's a kid. Or this, you know, he don't. Yeah. So we are asking the sheikh to come, and the sheikh are running away. So what we will do? Can't you tell that he is running away? If he is not, uh, give he's me a not reason. running away. He's just because I, I, I spoke call him to him right now. yesterday. I my, spoke my, to him yesterday. I told him uh, if he goes live, uh, you should call him, hmm. just like anonymous, like anonymous, like don't tell him who you are. Yeah, but, good, good but he said. Good idea. I told him that, mm. but he says uh, there's really no point of debating him because he's not going to listen. And at, at the end of the day, he's still going to uh, remain as a Christian. How he know? But I told, is, is he, but is, I told is, him. Do he know? I told him, is, is he claiming yeah. to be God? Do he claim to be God? Isn't Allah only the one who knows the unseen? So how he knew I will not become a Muslim? Isn't it Allah who softened yeah. the heart of people and he is the one who hardens them? Isn't it uh, uh, Abu Sufyan used to be the enemy of the Prophet? Isn't it Khalid al-Walid used to be the enemy? So this guy, he's claiming to be Allah. Yeah, because I told him, I told him, don't worry, don't worry about him. Because there's like thousands of people who watch the thing, you can help ten the thousands of people to Islam. But I don't know, he didn't listen. No, he is afraid, my friend. He knew. Uh, but, no, I'm telling uh, you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Listen, just... listen, 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 listen. What we will lose if he really call me, honestly, what he will lose. Let us say, for the sake of argument, this guy, a Christian prince, he will not accept Islam. What he lost, at least he gave the correct answers for you, you yourself, and for the Muslims. Yeah. And for even the Christians, so he can, you know, show everybody that this guy is not telling the truth if he is not telling the truth. So by retreating and running away, he is showing that he is afraid from what will happen. He will lose his career. People will laugh at him, starting from you, because maybe the rest do not know who is he. But for sure, you will know his voice because you are watching and listening. Yeah. 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 Uh, CP, how is my voice? Is the mic clear or should I get my headphones? No, you are fine for me. So why you don't call oh, yeah. him right now, my friend? Again, say please for the sake of Allah, do something. Yeah. Now, nah, trust me. Like uh, yesterday at the masjid, I was mm. speaking to him. I was I was trying to convince him to call you, but he just shut me down. Exactly. And I can't call. Yeah. He just shut I can't you down. Call him again. Because he is it's... terrified, my friend. He knew he cannot refute me. Is no, it... I don't know. Isn't it, my friend oh, Ahmad? Listen, isn't it a clear yeah. sign? Who is the one running away? I am I am welcoming him and I, I promise you I will speak to him nicely correct yeah okay and he as you said even you even you gave him good idea don't tell that you are a sheikh don't tell anything about yourself like you know give me any name you yeah want. I told him that I told him that so he can call you <laughs> see even this one he will not do because he knew that he cannot answer our questions and we prove that Muhammad is a false prophet so he decided to retreat because he is powerful only in the front of someone like you to fool him. So this yeah. is what this is what's happening. He is the one is fooling the Muslims, not me. Otherwise, if you know if you know that this person is lying, like there's many Muslims they say Christian prince is lying. So why they don't call me and get me busted? Yeah, because I, I I've been 
I've been seeing your uh, lives for for maybe like uh, five days now, for mm. one week now. Yeah. yeah. And I, I'm just surprised there there hasn't been any like top Muslim sheikhs or scholars calling you and just bust you in front of everyone. You get what I mean? I'm just surprised I, no one has done that. I know what you mean. And here we go. You have first-hand experience. You call your sheikh, who you, who you saw. You said to me, I did not know who is he. He is the big shot, right? Yeah. So why the big shot? He's, he's he's like one of the top. He's like one of the top scholars in Toronto. Okay. Why the top top scholar in Toronto? He don't dare even to get me busted. You see, you are not asking him even to debate me. You are asking him to get me busted. Can he call and say, "Hey, let me get you busted"? It's going to take him one, two, three, four, five minutes. Christian Prince became sheikh kebab. But look what happened. He is the one is hummus. Yeah. Because honestly, like. I just want somebody to call you and just like to boss you, make you like shish kebab. Mm -hmm. I want that to happen too, you know? <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> I want that. I support I just... you in that. I support you in that, you know? So so what we, what, what do you think? Okay, listen. The first shake in my, Toronto. Because he... my knowledge in Islam isn't that great. I know I know some ideas, but I can't explain like, like hadith and stuff. I'm not a scholar, but I know there's a lot of scholars in it. But I don't know why they don't call. It was so easy for me to call you, but how come they can't call you? Exactly. You see, I don't choose my who's calling me. I, I don't know you. Yeah. Uh, be honest with me. Have you ever spoke to each other before? before no, last first time? time. Yeah. Did, did I ask you even who you are before you call me? No. No, that's the thing. You didn't even know who I was. I could have been like um, Ahmed, like Zakir Naik, and I could have just bust you in front of everyone, but it wasn't Zakir Naik. Yeah. So what we will do now, what happened, my friend? What will happen with the Sheikh? Why they are running away? So Ahmed, I, I, don't know. I say to you, my friend, because Islam is a lie, it's time for you to leave this cult. I just can't... For me, it's either Islam or being an atheist there's no this is your middle business. ground you see, I, what you will be this is not my, my business you want to be an atheist be an atheist but you know we can talk about that later but for now i, I what i showed you last time you called me two days ago is horrible isn't it you who said to me that the quran speak about the cycle of the rain and then we yeah. found then we found the quran is against that so yeah but then then but then my scholar told me that the quran is not meant to be a book of science it's uh -huh. meant to be a book so of how science come, so how come the muslim they made tons of articles and if if the quran is not meant to be the book of science why allah is speaking about science when allah he says that those are two body of water and they will never mix that is science that is not just a metaphorical that is science so uh, is he saying that allah he is not knowledgeable about science no, for sure he is. Well, this is what he said to you, because he is saying, you know, uh, uh, I can say, uh, uh, okay, I can agree that a book of uh, about God is not a book about science. No problem. Yeah. But when no the problem. Quran, yeah. when the Quran speak about science, then we cannot say Allah is not talking about science no more. Yeah, that makes sense. So as long as Allah he says, okay. Uh, uh, you know, that said, those two waters, the fresh and the salty, they never mix. Uh, then they never mix. That's it. I mean, what do we need to uh, uh, to play with it? You know, they never mix. They never mix. What you will do? Yeah. So if I am you and I'm looking for a truth, regardless who is the one who holds the truth, I mean, this is obviously is not from God because God he don't say stupid things God is wise but how do you explain in Islam like how do you explain the good characters of the Prophet Muhammad do you know what I mean like what is the good character my friend your, your prophet don't be upset from me I'm just telling you what I believe okay you ask me so now it's time, time yeah. for me to tell you your prophet he is 54 years old going after a child she is six years old in the Islamic calendar which means five years in our calendar is that a good character? Muhammad, let me, Ahmad. What do you think if your father come to your house and he flirt with your wife? My father flirt with my wife? Yes. What do you think if your dad, God forbid, you know, I'm not insulting your father. I'm saying if, let yeah. us say. What do you think if your father come to your house Yeah. and he flirt with your wife? 
like flirt how like he's attracted to her or like what do you mean he's, like he likes you know, he her flirt, he flirt for her he say uh, you know praise be to allah who made my heart a flip for you you know he he tell her clearly that he like her he want her uh i would think like he lost his like he has mental problems like mental health or something or alzheimer what, or something okay, maybe what about what about he is a, a, a he's a bad person too yeah do you think a good person will go even your friend what about if your brother so this is cannot be because you are the one who mentioned to me the good character correct yeah okay a good character is not you go into the house of somebody and then this man he have a wife and she is married regardless if you are a father or the neighbor right yeah that's true so you don't flirt, you know you don't flirt with the women so i want you to look with me in the screen you speak arabic i speak arabic i can give you the link actually you know but this is Tafsir al Qurtubi. Value number 14, page number 190. Uh, let me open up YouTube. I don't have YouTube open. Okay. I just have Skype. Yeah, all right, no problem. I, I will I will send you a link. Let me send you a link which is can be shared. This one have Arabic title. So it's going to be hard to to, to share. All right. <clears throat> Because you know, like uh, my 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 sheikh, he told me that the Prophet Muhammad, like uh, peace be upon him, he, he never used to uh, kill like innocent people, like compared see. to the Christians. We will see if this is true. We will, we will see if this is true or not. This is absolutely false. All the ones your Prophet he killed, they were innocent, all of them. Anyway, so let us see. Uh, let me send you this link. So you can open it from your side to make it easier. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, this is a link, one of many links. Actually, you don't need to go by this one. You can open Tafsir al qurtubi for the chapter I'm going to show you, which means as any book doesn't matter really for me. This is your Islamic interpretation. This is what the scholars they say, and this is what the reference at the hadith says. So open with me the, the link yeah. I just gave you. You know how to search for certain words in a page? Uh is that control F? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Alright. Search for the word subhan. Well, I gotta change my keyboard to Arabic keyboard because it's in English. Oh. Well, anyway, if you go in that page, yeah. you see where it says page number 172? Yeah, 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 I see it. All right. It says here that the Prophet, when he went to Zainab, he stayed there for some time. And then he came to Zaid, to, to Zaid one day. And then he found Zainab, فَأَبْصَرَ زَيْنَبَ قَائِمَةً He found Zainab standing. And she was white, beautiful. Oh yeah, I said and, white and, 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 and big. And big. Uh -huh. So yeah. but why? Because the Arab at that time they like to have a wife. She is overweight. They call it, you know, now they call it, uh, you know, big and beautiful because this is like the average of uh, of uh, beauty. If you are skinny at yeah, that time, back, people don't like her. Then, that yeah. was the beauty yeah. standard. And look what that it says here. Yeah. Women atemmi nisa'i Quraysh. So she was from the most beautiful, perfect beautiful. women of Quraysh, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah Read it carefully. It says, it says, Fahawiha. Do you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is this is the character of a prophet, Fahawiha. He loved her. He, he, <sighs> he felt, he, actually, the Fahawiha is not even love. It's like a. Uh, you know, he, he he have a lust for her, like he he, he lost his control. You know, yeah. And then that's, and then yeah, and then what he correct. said to her, look, he did not only he you know in his heart he felt like he want to sleep with her. He said, Subhanallah, muqallibul qulub. Do you see it? Yeah, yeah. Wow. How that's... Muhammad used even the God name, his God. Remember, Allah is his God, right? He used his God name to flirt. With the married women. Oh wow! But 
But the Prophet didn't even have a son, he only had a daughter. Doesn't matter, my friend, he adopted him. This is from the time of Khadija because Muhammad cannot have kids. He's a he's an important man. So because Muhammad cannot have kids, Khadija she wanted him to have a son, so they adopted this uh, this this uh, uh, this person. But however, he is adopted or not, let us say you are my friend and I come to your house. How in yeah. the world? And I claim to be a sheikh. I claim to be I'm not a, a prophet even. This guy is a prophet. This is supposed to be the best of mankind, the Muslim they claim. And you a second ago you told me how you explained to me the, the, the great character of your of Muhammad, right? So based on this, yeah. Ahmed, if you go to the house of your son one day, you see your son wife, and she is wearing maybe something see-through, maybe, or you know, she is she's in her house, and this is her dad, correct? The the father of my the husband is a, a father, right? Yeah. He's forbidden for her. So how in the world? The father of his own son, he flirt with married women. How in the world, even if he is not a father, he flirt and not only that, he used the name of his God. Yeah, to I, I read that. So what do you That's, say? From, I'll be honest with you. From what I read, just with, it's really bad. Not only that, but I can't just take that. Listen, listen, Ahmed. Listen, read, read carefully. Read, read, continue reading. So Zainab, she heard him flirting, praising her by Allah, using Allah name. And then, then she told her husband Zaid, Do you see it? Yeah, yeah, I already then, read it. And then read look, look, it. look what it says. Yeah. Zaid. Like, what the heck? So now Zaid, he got it. They are sleeping together. They are, you know, there's something between them because there's no good women. She will be excited. She should say to him, shame on your father. Look what he said to me, correct? Yeah. She did not say that. She liked it. Obviously, they are sleeping together already. And then he went to the to, to his father and he says, oh, messenger of Allah, please give me permission to divorce her. Fafatina <laughs> Zaid. So Zaid got it. They are already together. This is the she man they, they told you he is a good man. What do you think? Well, you know, I can't just, the must, can, uh, maybe this was written by the enemy of, of Islam. My friend, like this is Al-Qurtubi, my friend, this is Al-Qurtubi, and you can open the website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So it, this is written by the enemy of Islam, and you Muslim teaching it in your school? Are we, going, yeah. are we going to blame the Jews as usual for anything happen? Is that a story written by the Jews? Is Al-Qurtubi is a Jew? No. Nah. And the, by the way, this is not only Al-Qurtubi, this is many books. And nobody says this is a fabrication. And here you will see actually, it says, وَقِيلَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ بَعَثَ رِيحًا فَرَفَعَتَ السِّطْرَ وَزَيْنَبَ مُتَفَضِّلًا And Allah, he sent wind. Look, Allah, Allah is working yeah, for wind. Muhammad. Allah, Allah is working for Muhammad. Allah, he sent wind and the curtain is left and she was mutafaddila, which means she is almost wearing nothing. Uh, so she is at home, you know, and then Farah Zainab So he saw Zainab and he wanted her. And not only that, So Zainab, she noticed too that Muhammad, he wanted her. I think I read a similar thing in the Quran as well, but it wasn't in details. Yeah, uh, this is this is the interpretation of the verse, my friend, where it says Allah he uh, says to him, Allah is saying to him, Are you going to hide your you know what what Allah he made a, like a, a clear for you that you want her? Look, it says here, Waqala ibn Abbas, fi This is the meaning of the verse. Why you are hiding? Look at the hypocrite. The guy he went to Muhammad telling him, uh, let me divorce her. Muhammad, he says, why? Why you want to divorce her? <laughs> a second ago, he was a flirty with his wife. Yeah, you man, know, unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. So come on, Ahmad. You know, it's time. <laughs> it's time, my friend. I mean, you are, you are. I can tell you are, you are coming from a good family. You are not that trashy to accept such a man to be a prophet for you. You know, you know. See, yeah, th th this is a pretty bad. Uh, what you call it? Like, 
what's what's written there. I need to save this link and show it to my sheikh and see what he says about what it. What he will say, he will say to you, this guy, Allah, he blocked his have Islamophobia. That's what he will say to you. He, he already gave you the answer. <laughs> Didn't you get it, Ahmad? Because if he have the guts, if he have a truth, he will not stand to come and say, hey, let me show everybody that you are a fabricator. And as you see, Ahmad, what he will say about this. I mean, this is in your Islamic website. I can give it to you from the from the government of, of Saudi Arabia. And even this one is a government website. So what he will say? Does Jalalain and Tabari and all of them, do they say the same thing about this? Well, or is it just Qurtubi? There, there is different details, but all of them, all, all, all you see, Al-Qurtubi, he is not, he was not a witness to say. He is not saying. It says there, Ibn Abbas. Do you see Ibn Abbas? Uh, where? Okay. It says, وَقَالَ إِبْنَ عَبَّاسِ وَتُخْفِي فِي نَفْسِكَ الْحُبَّ لَهَا Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. So here they are, Al-Qurtubi is a person giving interpretation using the companion who witnessed the story. Not him, because Al-Qurtubi wasn't there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ibn Kathir but... wasn't there. Those are people, they are collecting information about the story and they are putting it together. Then, but why do people say that that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, he was the most, uh, he was the best of mankind? Ask yourself. You are the one who told me that just ten minutes ago. Because you do not know, my friend. I'm not. I don't want to insult you. You know, you are ignorant. I just inform you something you do not know. Because of our ignorance, you know, we say things. It's not true. Because we grow up in a society, everybody praising Muhammad, he's amazing, he's the best of mankind. He is, he is, he is, he is. When the guy is nothing but a perverted man. But then how do you explain like, uh, like all the miracle, uh, miraculous uh, times he has won in war? What he won? He, like, al he always lost actually. Or most of the war actually if you read the story of Badr you will see he predicted even he told them that there, there's a few of them will be there he saw a dream about the number of people who will fight him they went there they found a huge number and look what happened they, just to show you this is a this is a comedy so Ahmed tomorrow you will go to war okay and I will say yeah. to you okay well uh, one of you can fight ten who told me that Allah do you think that if Allah says one can fight ten Allah can make it happen for sure all right. So how come it didn't happen? If you have God by your side, it doesn't matter how exactly. many. Exactly. If I have God on my side, even if I am one and there's a one billion human being, they want to fight me, I will win. Correct? Because they are not fighting me, actually. They are fighting God. Correct? Yeah. If we go to but chapter, the, if we go to chapter but eight. But the prophet did win. The hold on. No, did he did not. No, he did not. He lost. Listen, chapter eight, verse number 65. Allah said to Muhammad, Allah saying to Muhammad, this is not Muhammad saying to Allah. O Prophet, rouse the believers to fight. If there is 20 among you, patient and preserving, they will vanquish 200. Correct? Yeah. The Muslim, they went to the war and they lost. And then when he came back, in order to cover himself, he says, verse number 66, For the present, Allah has lightened your task, for he knoweth that there is a weak spot on you. So, if there is a hundred of you with patient and preserving, they will vanquish 200. So, look what happened. From 1 to 10 to 1 to 2. Yeah, wow. Allah now, <laughs> Allah now, he, have a, he found a weakness. <laughs> this is a prophet. So, shit, what I, yeah, you keep saying shit, it's okay. <laughs> so, you know, so Allah now, he found that you have a weakness who care about their weakness you just told yeah. them one to ten they can they can have victory who <laughs> care if they are one if there is even a child correct even if it's yeah. an infant even if it's an infant the, uh, like the maximum he can do he can do poo, -poo in this war <laughs> you know if allah he said and he allah is god supposedly if allah he says he will win well he will win yeah i, I don't know alex that's you know, that's the thing with the Quran because uh, Quran says uh, that's a very easy book to understand. 
But even as even when I read it as in Arabic, it's still not easy to understand. No, for me it's very easy. I love you know. For me, I love because you see, uh, maybe you know for you it's not easy to understand. I understand the language is stupid. I understand with you the language is so it's stupid. A, it's a hard language. No, no, it's not a hard language. It's a stupid language. You know, like uh, I, 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 I will give you an example. If we like go, the Arabic isn't clear. No, no, no. The Arabic, yeah, the Arabic. Not is it's not the Arabic. The Arabic is a language. Which is actually very clear, but the Quran is stupid, you know. And the funny is the Quran saying that we made the Quran a clear book for people. So if we yeah. go, if we go to to chapter Al Kafirun, you know Al Kafirun, right? Yeah, yeah, I know that. I, I spoke to my Sheikh about that. I always tell him like, if the Quran is supposed to be a clear book, then how come for me it's it's quite it's it's a bit difficult to understand certain. It's not even certain. It's most chapters and verses. It's a bit hard to understand. My friend, I'm giving but then you. He tells, yeah. But then he tells me, this is what we're here for. Yeah. This is what Okay, we're exactly. Exposed. This is why. And, and when we needed him, he ran away. <laughs> <laughs> this is what he is for, guys. This is why I'm, I'm here for you. And when you call him, oh, I have to go. I cannot do it. You know, like, what the heck? So... Uh, uh, Ahmed, I want you to focus on me, and I want to show you. I know you. You know. Do you know this chapter by heart, or you do not know? Yeah, that? yeah, I know this. Can chapter. you say it by heart? You like Which one? Al Kafirun. Do you know Al Kafirun? Mm -hmm. It's okay if you not know it. قل يا أيها الكافرون لا عبد ما تعبدون. Do you know it? Do you want me to read it or? No, no, it's okay. But let me show with you how stupid this chapter. This is God talking. So Allah saying, "Oh, that chapter, yeah, th th that was the thing." I, I, when I read it the first time, it was really like I didn't understand what 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 was this, what was about. It made no sense. Muhammad, he was taken to talking to the to the kuffar of Quraysh, and later he re, he had a clear proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. Why? Because he said to them. I worship not what you worship, and you, I will not worship what you worship, and you will not worship what I worship. But <laughs> but later, all of them they worship what he worship. <laughs> I mean, look at this idiot. He told them that you will not worship what I'm worship, yeah, which means he is sure. And then all of them later they worship what he worship. And just yeah, and, yeah. and just how stupid the verse is. I mean, the whole chapter is okay. I don't worship what you worship. That's it. Why you keep repeating yourself? So, oh, who you go for? I worship not what you worship, and you will not worship what I worship. And I'm not going to worship what you worship because I will not worship what you worship because you have a religion. I have mine. Like what the heck? Yeah, that... So, if we take the word, if we take the word worship, and we put the word eat, I will not eat what you eat, and you will not eat what I eat. Because I will not eat what you eat, and you will not do eat what I eat. Because I have my food, you have my yours. Yeah, it, it it's <laughs> man. There's some things. That's that's what I mean, CP. There's some things that I can't explain. That I don't understand. Uh, Ahmad, I want you. What about you? Call your sheikh right now, and put him in the speaker. Oh, you know. He was actually very angry uh, this morning. Yeah, because was, why? Because you're listening to me. To stay, he told me to stay away from these coffers. Yeah, yeah, stay away. <laughs> but let us get closer to him. What about you? Call him and put him in the speaker. And I say, say to him, "Hey, shake this guy. He insists to talk to you. Can you please talk to him?" What do you think? What about if I? Um somehow get his skype id okay and you call him without me sure give me his skype i will call him right now okay he's he, he's not online right now he's not no online. problem i will you know we will call him whatever we can no problem and that way you can speak to him but yeah that that <clears throat> so, oh man that's just so Ahmad, are you, oh, come on isn't it time for you to leave us now my friend I mean, this is this is your prophet. He go to his wife, son, his son, wife, and he flirt with her. Do you want to have such a man in your house? But it's hard, and I just Do then how, how, my friend uh, Ahmed, come on, is it hard to refuse a man? 
He go but if, in the house yeah. of people and he flirt with their wives and yet he claimed to be a prophet of God? Isn't it obvious that he is the devil? This is an act of the devil. A decent man, a man have little decency. He is not a prophet. When he go to the house of a friend, he will not look at the wife of the friend, even if he is just a friend. This is the... You know, he is inside the house. Why? When the husband is not there. Do you know why? Because now he is the father, correct? Yeah. Otherwise, he should not be inside the house alone with the wife, correct? Yeah. So he is being trusted to enter into the house because of father-son relationship. So what he did, what he do? He betray his mm. own son. And then, and then the poor kid, he go to his to Muhammad, the same person who was flirting with his wife. Imagine how how humiliating it is to go to the same person who was just flirting with your wife. Because what he will do, he will kill him. He go to him, please let me divorce her. You know, please. You know, he, his wife. She just told him that your father, he want me. He want to have sex with me. So the guy, he said to himself, I'm not going to be a pimp living in a house where my wife is being. Yeah. You know, uh, or, or obviously she like him. Otherwise, she will not be proud about it. It's a hard, it's a hard passage to read. Uh, I'm not gonna lie; it's pretty bad. It looks I, bad. But... Everything I showed you since the two days ago and now, and you do not believe know what me, to CP. Say. Believe me, CP. It's not like that. I don't want the sheikhs to call you. I want them to call you. I know. I know. To to strengthen my faith, I want them to call you to bust you. But it's what's happening but, is the opposite. I don't, I don't understand why none of them call you. It was not even difficult for me to call you. It took me There's one second. There's a million second. videos in YouTube exposing the lies of a Christian prince, but none of those who make videos dare to call me. Yeah. <laughs> and you, as you see, Ahmad, did I give, I give you a speech or I showed you reference and I gave you the Muslim website? Nah, you showed a reference. Okay. Because I... I'm yeah, always showing I've been... the screen what I say, and I make Muslim read with me. And then, how in the world you say to me, hey, I'm lying? Because <laughs> nah. before, before I used to watch you. I used to watch uh, Sheikh Osman Farouk. Yeah, <laughs> potato, but, potato Farouk. <laughs> but I stopped watching him because he's a liar, and that's how I found you. How you know he's a liar? What made you? Uh, the, uh, did you watch the video about him that the prophet he did mar he he uh, free her to honor her and he married her talking about Mary the cop, and then we should yeah yeah friends? that's the one that's yeah that's the one I watched because uh, I I know I knew that story already and, and he just lies exactly he's a potato so now so uh, so uh, so you came through him to me or you know me know about me from before. No, um, I think uh, on Twitter or something, because I follow his Twitter, he, he called somebody about Christian princes or something, Christian princes. So mm -hmm, I've just mm -hmm, searched up. Mm -hmm. I yeah. searched that up on YouTube and I found you. And yeah. So so you see, even he tried to insult me. He's a, he's a bully. You know? They are a bully. They cannot refute me. And all of them, they want to debate me face to face, but nobody can debate me in Skype. No problem, you know, because they are yeah. scared. They knew they are liars. So look what happened. This guy, he made videos to insult me. He could not refute me. And now because of his video, you are here. You search for me. And now I can tell you are leaving Islam left and right. Yeah, honestly, like Uthman, like he's not a really good scholar. He's... He's a he's a potato. All of them they are potatoes. You shake. Not the all of them. Not, no, all, not of them. all of them. Are potatoes. My no, no. I have just a, okay. Isn't it the shake you spoke to him today in the morning? Is a potato too? I don't want to say anything. No, you want to say anything. Okay, he will hear you. No problem. But but you, even if you don't say it, everybody have to agree. If he is not a potato, he will say, you know what? I'm going to call this guy, and I will show all the Muslims that this guy he is not telling the truth. Very simple. Yeah, but if Uthman, he I'm, Uthman, he's a liar. He, he lies about just to make himself uh, to make Islam look good, but he he fabricate things. That's why I stopped watching Uthman. Yeah, well, he is a, he's you know he is not even a potato for me. He is just a puppy. But anyway, 
You see, Uthman is not the prophet anyway. I mean, we are not here. I don't want to do yeah. what the Muslim do, start, you know, bullying and, you know, I don't care about this person. At the end of the day, our argument is about Muhammad, if he is a prophet or not. There's uh, a... But CP, just one question. Like, if, like, if, 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 like, like, what you call it, if, like, Islam is not the truth and stuff, and, like, then how come, like, all the sheikhs and scholars are still being Muslim? How come they're not leaving the Islam who and not exposing? Are, who they are? All, oh, first of all, those have a career. They are making living from it. And if you are living in Islamic society, and, you know, there's a consequence if you leave. You know, you know that. <laughs> you know the thing, right? So especially if you live in the Middle East, who dare to say, Muhammad, do I dare to say what I am saying to you now if I live in Saudi Arabia? If you said this things in the Saudi Arabia, they would probably... Properly? They will They will make me... No, they will execute you. They will probably execute exactly. you. Exactly. So why the sheikhs are still sheikhs? Because who dare? <laughs> yeah. This is a terrorist religion. Literally. Because the second you say one word about Muhammad, we want to kill... Actually, today I was seeing an article in Sky News Arabic, which is owned by Emirat, as I know. It says that terrorism threatened the Western culture. And now they are saying, because of terrorism, uh, Western, they cannot have a meeting with their own fan because a terrorist will be waiting for them. And the story is, like, it's about the Islamic terrorism. And the funny is that this is a sponsor by Emirat. You see, even here wow. it says, Abu Dhabi. So, they, they are saying it clearly that because of terrorism, Western, they lost their freedom. And who is the one doing terrorism in the West? They are saying the Muslims. And who is the one writing the articles? Muslims. Yeah. That's... His, you name, know, his name is Hamid Al-Kafai. Hamid, Muslim, correct? Hamid. Yeah. Al-Irhabu Yuhadidu Thaqaf al So, because of terrorism, you know, the Western civilization freedom is under threat. What terrorism? You read the article, you will see this Muslim terrorist and this Muslim terrorist and this Muslim terrorist and they are counting for you what the terrorist of Muhammad they did. So how that can be, you know, you ask me, I mean, how and like why they are still Muslims? That's the thing, man. I just don't understand, like, it's for, for me it was like this because like for me it's either islam is the truth that there is a god or islam is false and there is not god because i tried uh let us first because I, 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 I spoke i spoke to my sheikh about could jesus be god and things like that mm. and he told me like do you really believe jesus a uh, god can do poo poo and things like that. He says these okay, things. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what he got that Jesus was doing poo poo? Is that there is a reference for it? No, like no reference. But he said he's human. He ate. He's okay, well, isn't it? Isn't it the angel Jibril? He came to Mary as a fully human being in the Quran, and he was doing poo poo too. Yeah, isn't it Jibril who have the Quran says a perfect man, which means he have a penis. Correct. Yeah. Okay, why did Jibreel have a penis if we cannot see it? What is the purpose? Why did Jibreel he have a penis if we can if, if he if he will not use it? Right? Yeah, right. And if he is a Jibreel, according to Muslims, and now he came as a man with a penis, well why the Muslim they call him Holy Spirit? Can a man be yeah. holy then? A man can be holy. Nah. <laughs> you know, but a man, nah, a right, man can be holy, but this is only Jesus because Jibreel in the Quran he disobeyed Allah when he questioned, yeah, about creating Adam, and this is why Allah yeah. he ordered all the angels to bow down to Adam. Now nah, that's true. It's you know it also frustrates me as well. Like when I speak to like uh, my brothers, like my Muslim brothers, and they tell me that. There's nowhere in the Bible that says Jesus is God, but I know already some references on top of my head that Jesus is God. But the reason I don't accept it is because I think that the Gospels, Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John, it's fabricated. It's not reliable sources. 
My friend, you see, all those names you mentioned, the disciples of Jesus, they were killed. And the reason is, is what is written there. So why anyone? Remember, they are not killed because they are killing people. They are not killed because they were attacking like Muhammad. Just for preaching what is there. So why somebody will give his life for a lie? He knew it's a lie if it's fabricated. Yeah, that's that's the thing about like I don't understand like why would uh, like Allah after like six hundred years or a thousand years says oh no no Jesus didn't die I rose him up to the heavens actually so he pretty much he pretty much misguided like two billion people yeah not only this. Allah in the in the story in the Quran confirm that the Bible you just said it's fabricated is true. Why? Because what the Quran says that Allah He made someone look like Jesus, correct? Yeah. It's, okay. Yeah. So that's me in the Bible is true because I write what I saw, and Allah He says this is what they saw. <laughs> correct? Yeah. That's so, correct. Yeah. So how the Bible is corrupt? You know, the witnesses, they wrote what they saw, that Jesus was in the cross. Jesus, he spoke in the cross. Jesus, he died in the cross. And the Quran yeah. confirmed that. So how the Muslim, they say Jesus was a crucified. So what they are confirming, actually, is a stupid story, according to Muhammad, that Allah replaced Jesus by someone else. He looked like Jesus. But yeah. who can prove that this is Jesus who is not Jesus? So if I go right now to execution and I see somebody, his name is Data Say Abdul, he been executed, and then you ask me, did he, he did you see him? I say yes. He was him, him, him. I say, yeah, I saw him with my eyes. <laughs> and then six hundred years after, you say, No, <laughs> this is someone look like him, brother. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> the brother, yeah, the brother <laughs> Allah he put the in the cloth. But the fact is, what did he do? Because Allah, he don't like this to be crucified. And then Allah, he did the crucifixion of Jews. And the dude, they were thinking, this is Jesus, that's not Jesus, this is Jesus, that's not Jesus. And then the dude, they were thinking to them, well, this is Jesus, because he looked like Jesus. He talked like Jesus. He hair like Jesus. He died like Jesus. <laughs> and even his iPhone is Jesus' iPhone. So, therefore, this is must be Jesus. However, brother and sister, this is not the true Jesus, because the true Jesus, he don't have iPhone. He has Samsung. Like, what the heck? The true Jesus, he don't have iPhone, he have Samsung. So what is, yes, the, proof? I... What is the proof this is not Jesus? <laughs> what a stupid <Yes>. story. <laughs> so I'm, I'm it... glad for you that you decide to leave us now because from what you said already, already you are saying the Quran is funny. Quran is a stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, uh, there's some things, it just doesn't make sense. And the satanic verses, nobody has really explained that to me really well. It's just all... Oh. oh, can I, ex I explain to you? Like, hold on. You see, uh, the Muslim, they say, I will use the satanic verses as a sword with, 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 with two sides. Let, let, let me show you how. <clears throat> uh, a second ago, you said to me, because suppose this is what they told you as a Muslim, right? That the Bible is corrupted, correct? Yeah, they okay. say the Bible is corrupted. If we go, if like... we go me and you, chapter 22 verse number 52 what the verse saying that every messenger before thee which means muhammad shaitan he put words in his desire but what allah will do allah will delete it correct yeah so how the muslim they say that the only book is protected is the quran if the verse saying that all the prophet before you have those is similar, which means somebody, Satan, he is trying to corrupt their words. But don't worry, Allah will cancel it. Allah will delete it. Allah will erase it. So the verse here saying that all the messenger of Allah, who Allah he sent, all of them, there is somebody will try to, de to, to lie about what they say. To put and that's uh, that body is shaitan because all corruption yeah. is coming from shaitan. And then the verse saying Allah will erase it. So the verse here promising that even the gospel should be protected. Because, yeah. because why Allah will erase what shaitan he will throw in the mouth of Isa or Musa? But that's the, the thing, like like shaitan sh shouldn't even come close to the prophet or to any of the prophets. So they don't even need protection because 
Do you know what I mean? Like exactly, but the, the, for the sake of argument, as long as verse is there, and that can be used to 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 prove Islam is stupid when they say that the Bible is corrupted, because Allah in this verse says anything Shaitan he put in this book, because the word of the Prophet is word what of word of God. So any any addition Shaitan he try to add, Allah is watching and Allah will erase it. So if Allah will erase it, and he says all the messengers did that, that happened to them before you, but Allah will erase it, which means for all. So yeah. how the Muslims, they say this will only happen to Muhammad. Secondly, the satanic verses, if you read the story, you will see that Muhammad, he bowed down to the idols, the three daughters of Allah. That's yeah, Muhammad. I read that. Yeah, yeah, I read that. That's me, Muhammad is a mushrik. In the top of that, how we knew as long shaitan, he can put words in the mouth of Muhammad. How we knew that this verse itself is not from Shaitan? <laughs> yeah, the, like these things are really hard. That's why I always had some doubt. But like, so, my friend, as long you agreed to leave Islam, I'm so happy for you. I invite you right now to accept Jesus as your savior, and if you have a question, I will be happy to help you. Listen, Sipi, you have enlightened me about Islam, but for me, I just have to do more reading. I have to, do you know what I mean? I need to learn more about Christianity because I don't know anything about it that much. All right. You know? No problem. I, I Just what I'm saying to you, I am here to help you. You know, no problem. I want you to do me a favor before you go. What about you call the French Sheikh as long as the first Sheikh you run away? Maybe the second shaky would do it. <laughs> do you have another shake? Uh he's not really a shaykh. He's like there's not a he's not a scholar, but he's a bit more knowledgeable, but what about, he won't be able to Okay, but there's many mosques and there's many imams in the, in, in yeah. Toronto, right? So yeah. why you don't choose one of them and say, Hey, come on, I, I want you to get this guy busted. He made me leave us now. No, I don't want to. I don't want them to know. No, oh, okay. Trust me, because I, I, I spoke to them, and some of the answers they given me, it's a bit nonsense. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Well, Ahmed, I, I want you to do this. Start reading the the gospel. Start from Book of John or Luke. Doesn't matter really, and uh, you can anytime. You know. Yeah. Try to honestly, contact me. CP. Yeah. I have read John, like. I don't know why Muslims say Jesus isn't God when literally in the first chapter of John it, it mentions like Jesus deity. The first the, page, not only first the chapter, first page, the first page. Yeah. And they say, and not only that, they say to you where Jesus says, "I am God, worship me." Isn't it? Is, yeah. is, isn't it? Isn't it? His disciples says to him, "Why you don't show us the Father?" And you know that we Christian, we call the Father our God, we call him Father, right? So why you don't show us the Father? And that's it. Jesus, he said to him. Well, I am with you all this time, and you do not know me. Whoever saw me, he saw the Father. I and the Father is one. And they say to you, "Where Jesus is of God?" <laughs> yeah. That, even 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 as a Muslim, when every time I hear like uh, Muslims, they say, "Where did Jesus say he is God?" I get frustrated because why would Christians say Jesus is God if it's not clearly mentioned in the Bible? My friend, why the Jews they killed Muhammad, killed Jesus because he's a prophet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that is stupid to say because if they kill him as because he's a prophet, that's when they believe he's a prophet. You see yeah. what I mean? If if they if, yeah. if they kill him because he's a prophet, I mean, if we want to say that the Jews are very according to Muslim, they try always to make them very evil. Okay, no problem. You can make them whatever you want, but the Jews they have many prophets and they follow them. They did not really kill them. Right. Yeah. In the same time, the Quran says that the Jews, uh, uh, some of the prophet, they accused to be a liar, and some of the Jews they kill. If we ask the Muslim now, any Muslim who's watching, who is the name? Give me the name of the person who is a prophet who was killed by the Jews. No prophets. Can the Muslim tell us who is the Jews? Who is the prophet? which killed by the Jews, as an example, chapter 5, verse number 70. It says there, some of them you accuse of lying, and some of them you killed, which means there's many. Muslims, 
who are they the many prophets the many who were killed by the Jews if there is any shake so Ahmad I will be happy to receive call from you again when you you know you like to know about Jesus more and you like yeah. to I know I would love to you know my friend you are a nice person and I would love to save you from hell I believe in hell I believe in salvation I believe that Jesus Christ is the only Savior and because I love to see you save my friend you are like my little brother and I love I love to save you and take you with me and all those Christians to take you with us so we can enjoy a real happiness with the Lord I like yeah. you to accept the Messiah yeah, so, thank you. You have definitely enlightened me. I'm definitely going to read the Gospels, but can you just like, uh, for me, the biggest issue with Christianity is not Trinity. Like Trinity, I don't know why sometimes Muslims say, oh, Trinity doesn't make sense, or this doesn't make mm -hmm. sense. For me, it's like, how how can you make sense of God, of who he is? You, your mind can't comprehend who God is. Yeah. That's do, you true. Get, do you get what I mean? Yeah, I mean we call so it him, we call him if... Almighty. Why we call him Almighty? Because he's Almighty. What Almighty mean? There's no limit of what he can do, right? So yeah. he's Almighty. So when this man he says to you that Jesus was a man, so is, are you saying to me that God Almighty, he's capable not of being a man in the same time God? <laughs> you know, this is against the word Almighty. This is against but... the word God. But wait, see if do Christians believe that Jesus is a man or he just became a man? My friend, the the, the Bible teaches that for God he humbled himself. He humbled himself, so he come in a form of a man. So God, because he's so glorious, you know, and because his glory is too uh, too like if you if you see God how the way he is, you can't even live. Let us say, yeah. I'm not going to compare God to the sun, but the, the, the sun, the star, you know. But imagine you are getting close to the sun. What will happen to you? Yeah. This is what, this you, what you, will happen. You, you, so you burn, yeah. so uh, God, he humbled himself. And in order for us to see him, he came to us as a man. So he is a man in the same time he is God. And if God, he chose to be a man forever, this is God. If he yeah. chose to be a man for a day, he is God. Oh. If he chose, uh, you know, I, you know, you cannot tell why, why, why God, you cannot like, do this. Honestly, CP, sorry. That's, that's the biggest issue with me. Like, I spoke to, not my sheikh, but with my, one of my friends. He's, I told him, like, uh, uh, so uh, God can be, can't be a man. Then how did God become a tree, like a burning bush? Yeah. When he spoke to Moses, do you get what I mean? Exactly. And, he... not, and not only that, actually, the, the, the voice came from the tree, right? Yeah. Okay. How did God became a voice? They will say, no, 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 God. But yeah, that's, that's. Is the voice of God, uh... is, is the voice of God is God? <sighs> See, the Muslims, just because Muhammad, he said, they refuse. As an example. I never saw a Muslim making fun of Mary being a virgin giving birth to Jesus, correct? Yeah. Why? Because the Quran says so. But imagine yeah. if there is no verse in the Quran, they will laugh at us. You know it. Yeah. So just because Muhammad says so, okay, it's true. When we ask That's the Muslims, true. when we ask the Muslims, is Allah is a fire, he saying they say to me no. So what this verse in the Quran saying? Blessed is the one in the fire and the one who is around the fire. Who is the who is the one in the fire? Musa, he come. He heard the voice of God, and the voice of God is coming from the tree, from the fire. Okay, and then it says, but when he come to it, chapter twenty-seven, verse number eight. He was called, blessed is who is ever in the fire, and who is ever around it. You ask the Muslims, who is the one in the fire? <laughs> remember the quran says that this is a holy ground take off your yeah. shoes so uh, are you a hindu muslims because <laughs> because the hindus they believe in a holy fire yeah right so are you a hindu why it is a holy ground who is in the holy ground 
Allah. Yeah, God. So who is in the fire? They have no answer. You read the interpretation, they will say to you, the angels, like, what the heck? Why it says the angels? <laughs> and why the angels are inside the fire? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, what they are doing there? Like they are, That's great. they are doing break dance. Like what? They, what they are doing? Like angel, why? Why are you are inside the fire? Angels, you come to the fire, man. You will be burned. No, no, you know that's okay. For me, fire is okay. You know, I thought hell fire is for for. So how? And in the same time, because Muhammad is a fraud, he copy a story from the Bible. He add his own spice, and you know, Muhammad is like a person who steal my bicycle, and then he paint the bicycle. So I will not know that this is my bicycle. But he forgot to take my name from it. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, CP. <laughs> Honestly, this is how Muhammad is. He is the most foolish person ever. You know, I mean, the more we read about him, the more we die laughing. This guy is an, is a, is, the, is a certified idiot. So <laughs> I cannot find better comedy than Muhammad. Actually, you know, like ninety nine percent point nine 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 nine, like like the, the election in the Middle East. Not the guys when they vote for Saddam Hussein. 99.9999999 they agree and the one who did not agree actually he agreed but he died when he was doing the election <laughs> this is muhammad 99.9999999999 they believe that muhammad okay there's no atheist in saudi arabia brother there is no atheist in yemen brother there's no atheist there's no atheist everywhere because who there saddam hussein in charge but the second you start reading, you will see that this this person, this this prophet, is a false idiot. Anyway, Ahmad he hang up. All right, he's gone. <laughs> but we are happy that Ahmad he did. You know, he left Islam. He called me to get me busted, <laughs> and he ended leaving Islam. <coughs> Let us see if there's other Muslims. All right. I'm a Muslim. Okay. <coughs> I'm glad that Ahmad he decided to leave Islam. Wonderful. We are calling different Muslim. Hello? Hello. Hello. Yes, my friend. What you? Hello? You are a Muslim, right? Yes. All right. What do you like to say to us? We are live on air. How are you? I'm fine. Is your prophet a prophet? What do you think? Uh, yes, sir. He is. Why he is? Um. Hold on. One minute. One minute before we start with this. Um. I just want to ask you. Uh, uh, who do you believe uh, wrote the Quran? Who I believe he wrote the Quran? Yeah, who do you believe wrote the Quran? Well, the Quran answer us. It says it is the word of a of a decent prophet. So Muhammad is the one who wrote the Quran according to the Quran. Okay, okay. Um, all right, all right. So you think? Um, no, read with me. How... Chapter, because I don't like to say things without proof. Chapter sixty nine, verse number forty. Chapter 81, verse number 19, it says it is the words of a honorable prophet. The Muslims, they, you know, like they, uh, 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 they, they, put, they put between two brackets, Jibreel, but the fact nowhere Jibreel, it says the messenger, Allah messenger is what Allah is speaking of. So it is the word of honorable messenger. Is the in the Quran, the... in the Quran, Allah hmm. says that Muhammad was illiterate. He didn't even know how to read. No, so nowhere the Quran says Muhammad is illiterate. We will go there after we finish this. Is the Quran the word mm -hmm. of Allah, or the Quran is the word of the angel, or the Quran is the word of Muhammad? What do you think? Word of Allah. Okay, so chapter sixty-nine, verse number forty, it says, "This is verily the word of honored messenger." Before that, probably Muhammad Sallallahu has said something. No and problem. Then he said Muhammad. No, no friend, my friend, this is Quran. This is Quran. This is always a Quran. And then it says, this is the word of honorable messenger. Okay, what's before that? You can read what before it. He is he's giving you lecture about uh, this and that, and you know, do this, don't do that, etc. 
And then, but, yeah, yeah, that's okay. what Muhammad so, is telling us. So this is Quran, but now it's Quran. Yeah, Allah is saying this yeah. is what Muhammad peace be upon him said. But so, so Muhammad did not receive this revelation from Allah. So why it's in the Quran? He, because that will make it hadith. If it is a hadith, is Muhammad saying don't do this, don't do that? That's mean Allah there is not talking. Okay. Um, yeah, can I? I have a question. What, what do we want to skip this one now? Let us try to find the answer, my friend. Before we go, no problem. I, I did answer. I did answer. No, you did not that answer. You did not answer. If you say this is Muhammad, that's mean the Quran. But this is the Quran. So you just admitted that the Quran is a word written by Muhammad. You're you're not even reading what was said before that. Read. Okay. Read. Go ahead. Read. Read as much as you want. So what? I can't see him on the call. Uh, Open chapter sec, sixty-nine, have... my friend. Open chapter sixty-nine. And read any verses you want until forty. There's not the problem. It One says I, uh, it says that I, I that, have to that go. This... I'm going somewhere. Oh, you hold have on, to go now. Uh, uh, no, yeah. no, I'm not going. I'm not scared of you, man. Just, okay. Yo, chill. All right. I'm not leaving. Uh, I have to go in like what fifteen minutes. I have to go. Let me just. I, I want to. Uh, I have a question. I don't understand. All right. All right. Go ahead. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. How is uh how is Jesus God and he doesn't know the hour? Well, that's a great, a great question. How Jesus is God, he do not know the hour. So the one who do not know the hour, he cannot be God, correct? Yes. Well, the same chapter you are reading from, you will see that Jesus, he told them what will happen exactly and when the hour will come. We Christians do not believe in the predestiny, which means the more we sin, the more, the faster the hour come. And Jesus says, only my father, which means he have the decision because he is the father. That's why we call him the father. So Jesus, he said, I've been given the power over the flesh. It is to my father to announce the hour, not to me. So we believe in the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. It is the job of the Father to announce the hour because he is the one in charge. For me, I am the judge in the judgment day. And the same chapter Jesus said, this is what happened, and this is what happened, and this is what happened. And when all of those things happen, I will come to you. So Jesus, he knew about the hour, but the one who will announce it is God in the same time. With God the Father. Okay. In the same time, so, hold on, hold on, hold on. What kind yeah. of God? What kind of God? You are the one who agreed with me that God is the one who know the hour. You said yes, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. How, what kind of God? He says the moon is split, and the and the judgment day is near, and nothing happened. Do your God okay. know the hour? You, yeah. Well, no, because he says that iqtarabat The word iqtarabat in Arabic means not only near; it's almost in the corner. You're a prophet, he says. Liyushikna Isa, almost Isa, he will come, and he will be at, he will be here, you know, and that will be the sign of the judgment day, and Isa did not come, and this was fourteen hundred years ago. If we go right now to the hadith, if we ask you, who is the one who told Muhammad that Isa will come very, very soon? You will say to me, who? You will say, Allah told him, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, read with me carefully. It says, and this is Sahih. I but, can't see anything because I'm on my no phone. No problem. I can, I can read for you, my friend. No problem. By the, yeah. one, by the one who is hands is my soul, Ibn Maryam, the son of Mary, shall soon descend among you judging just justly he shall break the cross and kill the pig jesus is going to be a cowboy will fight pigs no problem but did he say Shikna, which means extremely soon not only soon very soon all right i know why i know why huh. in the uh, in the quran yeah. 80 percent so far 80 percent of what's in the quran has been proven a hundred percent correct. Eighty percent of it is a hundred percent correct. You, give me the, the other twenty percent. Okay. No, no, is no. Unknown. Hold on, hold on. You see, don't give me numbers. Eighty percent, uh, my friend. Give me one proven to be true. A lot. Okay, a give lot. me, give me one prophecy in the Quran come to be true, or one. Okay. Note. Hmm. Okay. Um. He, uh. One of them was he said that iron didn't even come from Earth. He said it came from like meteors or something. All right. What? Well, like not too long ago, we knew that okay. meteors, okay. iron came from meteors. Okay, hold on, guys. 
uh, Allah in the Quran he says iron did not come from the earth is coming from uh, 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 from the sky from the space correct yeah but is that true uh, it was proven to be yes no my friend if you go right was now, it, I, wait. my friend my friend the the, the the volcano the volcano have something called magma correct mm -hmm. okay most of the volcano magma is iron so how we have no iron except the one coming from the sky when the magma the core of the earth is full of iron how there is no iron the Quran if we if we go if we go and read the Quran you will see that Allah he says وَأَنزَلْنَا الحديد. but why you Muslim you, you why you don't read what is before it says Allah he sent down the book did Allah send really a book printed book Allah he sent down the justice Allah he sent down the scale to measure did Allah send the scale no and then we we, we send down the iron so this is not about iron sending Allah saying to you that everything creation you have is made by us but I will go with you now because now that will become a mistake because did Allah send the Aaron to who to mankind correct mm -hmm. okay so mankind is there correct yeah okay so isn't it the blood of Adam have iron so if there was no iron and then Allah he sent iron with the rain did Adam he drink water and he get iron in his blood if there's no iron in the blood we will not live we will die anyone have deficiency little deficiency in iron he is going to be sick if you have no iron at all in his blood he is dead wait i'm not it, it was it iron or was it something else iron, i'm not sure no, if, iron, is that what iron, he said my friend, iron you can go right now and read about how and what is the percentage of iron in our blood and if we don't have iron we are dead <laughs> so so allah he sent iron to the mankind and but mankind is already exist and they have iron in their blood so if there is no iron, where is the iron coming from in their blood? <laughs> and remember, Adam was created from dust, correct? Mm hmm So from dust to dust you go, my friend. No, no. What do you mean no? Created from, what, uh, he was created from clay. What, isn't it the clay is a dust mixed with water? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm funny. Look at these losers in the comments. <laughs> okay, don't, don't talk about the... Uh, A bunch focus, of losers, focus, My friend, focus. These guys me. have nothing to do. They it's okay, it's okay, comments. my friend. Guys, be nice, be nice, please. Uh, Yo, look, look, look. My hold up, hold up, hold up. Friend, don't, You're like, don't make listen, a, listen. Don't make, you know what's don't funny? Make a drama. You know what's funny? Don't make a drama. One sec, one sec. My, my friend, my okay, friend. okay, I'm not done, I'm not done. Okay, don't make a drama listen, about listen. comment. You are talking to me. You are talking to me. Listen. You're, I heard you today. You were making fun of Zach and Nayak when you're the one sitting on your laptop waiting for random people on Skype. You should be ashamed of yourself. What? Zach and Nayak actually gets up in front of millions and talks to people. I'm, I'm, like, I'm getting in front of millions. You see, I am number one person Indonesian people listen to in, around the world. So I'm yeah, the online. one who millions of speak to listen to me, and you, Zach and Nayak, don't dare to debate me. You should be ashamed of himself. Who care about going? I'm not going anywhere. I, I sit wearing no, my shorts. Nobody... My, my friend, my friend, my friend. Hold, hold on. Don't, don't give me this drama. Either you have answers for what I said or you don't. Do you have answers? You don't. So don't cry for you cannot answer. The excuse if I go, don't go. I travel, I don't travel. That I'm not a prophet. I do not need to prove myself. <laughs> and none of you can debate with me. Yo, so now, nobody talks I, I have to a you because you're... For you. I have nobody, a, I nobody have a challenge about... for you. I have a challenge for you. Do okay. you dare to call your your sheikh right now and put him on air live with us? Now. <laughs> yo, you're... Yo, yo. Do you, like, do you realize how, like, embarrassing you are? I'm just getting embarrassing. What? Embarrassing is you. I'm a challenge in all your sheikh and you don't dare to debate me. And when you call me, I get you busted in two seconds. Let us take who's next. <laughs> how embarrassing. <laughs> Okay, Ahmad, do you want me to call him again? Let us see. Hello? Yes, Ahmad. Sorry about that, CP. My did, internet just stopped off. Yeah, it's okay. Did, did, you, did you hear the guy saying that Zachary Naik, he speaks to everybody? I don't. <laughs> yeah, he was being really does, stupid. Does Zachary Naik dare to open his Skype to anyone to call, including me? Do he dare? He don't. I have my Skype open for anyone. I don't yeah. know who's going to call me. I don't know if he's a scholar. I do not know if he's a smart. I don't know if yeah. he's a genius. I don't know if he is going to. Uh, I'm, I'm not afraid of C anyone. CP, when he mentioned the verse about iron, 
I knew you were about to bust him. <laughs> I will bust him anything they say, my friend. But Ahmad, don't laugh. I got you busted too. <laughs> but that's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you say. This is why they don't debate yeah. me, my friend. It doesn't matter what you say. They will get busted. You know, the Muslim, they made an article about how to debate Christian press. They said, if a Christian, even if a Christian prince, he said to you, the prophet was a great man, don't say yes. And don't say no, because whatever you say, he will get you busted. So how in the world yeah. those people want to debate me? So this is what they do. They are just copy-paste machine. Nobody want to read. Nobody yeah. want to see. They are blind people. They are copy-paste. The Quran is a joke. The, who is the one who wrote the Quran? Uh, Allah. Okay. Why the Quran says this is the word of an honorable messenger? Uh, read the verses before. Okay, go ahead. Read them. Read them. <laughs> So and and if and if the Quran was sent by messenger or this is the word of honorable messenger, let's say for the sake of argument, this is Jibreel. But this is mean the Quran is made by Jibreel, not by Allah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a comedy! <laughs> I'm not Man. sure what to call it, comedy or drama. You know, you tell me. <laughs> This is uh, it, it's a it's a mix of both. It's a mix of both. Like that person who just called you, he was kind of like me. He's, he was being ignorant. Like he, like you bust him, and he was still denied. You know, uh, Allah, Allah, He sent down feather. The Quran says, عليه, Allah, He sent down clothes and, and, and feather on us. Why? Somebody told Allah that all of us were Indian. <laughs> we, were, we were feather. You know, like, the, I, I understand that Indian people, American Indian, they would put feather in their head. But Allah, He says, and warish. Like, what the heck? I never wear feather, you know? And the funny, uh, when the Muslim, they translate, the best and warish, they take they take away the word the feather. I mean, why you are taking why you are taking away the word? You know, why why yeah. they say? Uh, 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 let, let, let us see if we go in the Quran. Let us find the translation because it's hilarious. You will find ninety nine point nine of the Muslim translation. They take off the word feather. I don't know why, you know. Hey, Muslims, anyone can tell me why you speak Arabic, Ahmad? Does it say so? Atakum <laughs> Warisha? <laughs> Allah, He sent down my underwear and it, it was made from feather. Oh, man. You know? And if we read in the, interpret in the translation, the word feather is gone. This is Yusuf Ali. Let us change. This is chapter 7, verse 26. Let us see. Ch uh, go to uh, <coughs> Bikhtar. <laughs> Man, Fidder, I huh? can't believe it. Fidder, huh? Okay. And then, uh, <clears throat> children of Adam, we have revealed unto you the re remnant and to cancel your shame. Like, where, where is the feather? Where is the clothes? Revealed? <laughs> Clothing is revealed? We have revealed, uh, underwear became revelation. Look at the translation. It says, we revealed into you. The clothing is revelation. And what, what happened to the feather? They took it off because they want to cover by the feather, the stupidity of Muhammad. Allah, he sent down feather, brother. Allah, Allah. Are you sure you sent feather, Allah? Absolutely. <laughs> Man. Look, all translation, no feather. Allah, he pro uh, uh, look and look at the first translation. It says, "And we have provided for you clothing." Yeah, it doesn't the say that. translation it says, is not. And zelna, and zelna alaykum. We send down on you clothing to cover your parts and feather. Liars, they have no shame, and they corrupt their book just to cover the stupidity of a so-called prophet, his name is Muhammad. They don't want you to read, they don't want you to see that this is, cannot be from God. This is an idiot. God did not send thither, and we are not a chicken. Yeah. You see, if we are a chicken, I will say, okay, well, Allah, he cover us by thither. But did any of you Muslim have a picture of himself when he was a baby? He was covered by feather 
because maybe you were born with covered with feather and then your mom she took the feather away <laughs> anyway Ahmed, there is anything you want to say my friend <laughs> yeah i just want to say like yeah thank you cp like Ahmed, don't thank so me, my friend don't thank me i want you to accept jesus come on i want you to be saved I want you to come I, to Christ. I want you to be. I, I want you to be with us in the heaven of the Lord. Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, like I just have to do my own research. I just gotta. You know what I mean? I have to read it and understand it myself. All right. But like, yeah, for me. But Ahmed, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to make a threat for you. If you don't accept Jesus, I will take all the feather cover in you now. <laughs> 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 all right Ahmed. thank you my friend for calling i hope soon you will you will see the truth and you will accept the messiah as your lord and i will be happy to take you any time to answer you about some questions you know maybe i will be able to help you to accept the messiah. i just have i just have one question cp all right how come like on youtube like because I, I honestly i always look up like christianity versus islam debates how come always the person who is defending Christianity, they always like somehow lose. They just, do you get what I mean? No, you see, is, there's not, see, let us say, you see, debate is a gift. It's not just anyone. Number one, you have to have knowledge. So most of those people, they are not people of knowledge. And secondly, uh, you will see, as an example, uh, uh, Didat, the most famous one, right? Yes, you see that the yeah, I watched is, a lot of his yeah, videos. You see, the that is the most stupid ones to to defeat in two seconds. When he debated an Arabic Christian, he lost immediately, and he refused to show up for the second debate. So, the Muslims always they choose they debate who. Can't you tell? They are running away from me, but they will debate anyone they think that they can make it look like they have a victory. So let us say they choose their customer. You know, this is not a debate. Yeah, we, that's if, not true. If we look, Especially if we look, in speaker's corners. All of them, Especially all of them, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Yeah. Speaker corner, anyway. If you are an American blonde or etc., a person who do not know much about Islam, all of them, they want to debate you. But when it's come to someone like me, and I hope in the future we will have thousands and millions like me, the Muslims will leave Islam. So Christians never lose. Never lose. Because the truth is... Is not about them it's not about me it's not about you for we have a christ and christ is the one who will never let himself lose he is the truth he said i am the way i am the door i am the truth so how he lose even you even the city muhammad he says that the messiah will come and when the dajjal he see him he will dissolve like salt this is how powerful the messiah is so don't blame let us say a, a weakness of somebody on Christ because most of those people they are not used to Muslims Muslims are aggressive Muslims they try to intimidate you and those people are not used to this you know so the Muslim they cannot intimidate me they will never be able actually they are intimidated by me is the opposite that's why this Uthman you mentioned his name he is coward he don't dare to let me even call him all of them they are intimidated but when they speak to a nice Christian who is just trying to, to explain to them things, they try their best to intimidate him or to make a mockery of them. I'm a person, nobody can make mockery of me because in a second yeah. I will whip the floor with you if you try to do so. So they are not gifted, many of them, but always there is somebody is gifted. He can make Muhammad shish kebab and we yeah. are, an, I, am, I am a living proof. That's why. That's why I wanted my uh, sheikh to give you a call. I wanted it so badly. Will never sometimes happen. Will never happen. It didn't happen. Yeah. Will never. Will never. That's happen. why when it didn't. That's why when it didn't happen. When he, when he refused it, I started to doubt myself. Correct. Because you ask yourself, okay, what he will lose anyway if he is, uh, if he is saying the truth and he is, yeah, you know. Uh, He's convincing, he knows. I mean, this is not a guy who do not know. So Christian Prince, he can say something and let us say, 
uh, you know, make him confused. This is a scholar support. This is a big shake. He is the one. And he said to you, this is what we are here for, right? Yeah. <laughs> but when we need him, he's not, you know, this guy is like the guy who worked for the fire department. He work only when there's a snow. <laughs> <laughs> When there's a fire, he never comes when out. When there's a fire, he says, this is not my exp my expertise. <laughs> <laughs> Man. All right, my friend. CP, do you, recommend, uh, do you recommend any good, like, Christian versus Muslim debate or something along those lines? Well, I mean, there is, uh, there is you know, good people who, especially about the Bible, I would like to recommend uh, Sam Shamoon is good, you know? Uh, who? Uh, Sam Shamoon. You don't know him, Sam Shamoon? No. You can search his, you know, people, they can post his link for you in YouTube. You know, he's very good. He is very well versed in the Bible and he is a very uh, smart person. But, you know, I cannot really recommend uh, people because I believe that the Lord, he opened your heart and he will guide you. Just ask him to lead you where to go and you will. The same as what happened to you. You listen to Uthman who was insulting me, even though Uthman is speaking of the devil. The Lord, he made of man a leading sign for you to come to me. And here we go. You left Islam. So Uthman ibn Farouk, he never imagined that when he make a mockery of a Christian prince, because he's a coward, he don't know how to deal with me. I get him busted already many times. So he make mockery, but he never thought that his mockery would make many Muslims search and look for a Christian prince to watch his videos and they will end leaving Islam like yeah. what happened to you. So because that's how I found you. Because on his Twitter, he says uh, he mentioned you as like a Christian princess or princess Chris, yeah, something yeah. And like that. He says that. I'm wearing burqa. I know. <laughs> yeah. I, I was like thinking like he must be s someone pretty like big if if he's mentioning them. And then I just watched some of your videos. I'm like, wow, that's what. It really is. That's what's like, yeah, some of these things you've shown on screen and with reference and things like that, it's just like really shocking. Yeah. And there's, you know, always, not, al always remember, yeah. forget about this guy anyway, but always remember there is people that can be good in thing and they are not good in other thing. As an example, there's somebody might be, he's a good teacher for the Bible, but he is not a debater. Debate, when you debate, especially if you don't know, you see, like you call me, I do not know what you will say to me, right? yeah so when you want to do such a thing this is a big challenge to the brain my brain because how in the world i'm going to get the answer in the speed of second i mean the guy is just talking i put it in the screen correct so in order to do that you have to be very very gifted with knowledge let us say you have a very fast processor brain and on yeah. top of that the most important the lord is our victory so by the Lord, I depend on him, not only on me, for I believe everything I have is a gift from him at the end of the day. So if the Lord is with me, who could be against me? So some Christians, yeah. they go to fight the devil without having arms in their hands. An arm here is not a sword. Arms here is knowledge, true knowledge about the Bible. So secondly, confidence. Number three, knowledge about the enemy, the devil. If you do not know who is the devil, how you can talk about the devil? How you can fight the devil? It's like now today we want to fight a virus, but we do not know anything about this virus. That is mission impossible. So the, the, the Bible order us to read, to search, to find the truth, and the truth will set you free. So a Christian when I debate Muslims should not should know yeah. about what they believe, not only about what he believes. Same time, he should not allow them to intimidate him. Most of those on speaker corners. Actually, just a few days ago, I said a word. I said potatoes. You know why? Because some two Christians were talking to a Muslim, and the Muslim is schooling them about ethic. And those two, which I call them potatoes, they were like, "Okay, you know, okay, Muhammad." Oh, okay. Yeah, that's so, what I mean. Like so, those are sort of the videos yeah. I watch that make like, wow, Christ Christianity. Yeah. So, so why, why those but... a Christian? They don't say to him, "Your your prophet is a child molester. Your prophet says, go and bite the penis of your father. Your prophet, why you are quiet, sitting there like a, like 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 a potato?" So, my friend. Those are not, and they should not be there. So we don't judge a Christianity by somebody who know nothing. They are just, you know, let us say good Christians, trying to give the good news about Jesus. But they are not debaters, obviously, and they do not know, and they don't have much knowledge. 
especially if they're trying to debate against Muslim, because I know, like, Arabs are they're very aggressive. Yeah. You know. Well, you know, they can they can say whatever they want, and uh, but in the end of the day. Uh, like sometimes, like wrong. when I'm watching, like when I'm watching Christian verse, like like in the speakers' corners, I'm like, like even though I'm a Muslim, I I say to myself, I can defend Christianity better than they can defend it. You are right, actually. You are. Do you right. get what I mean? I mean, yeah, they are because they they are, they are not really they are not qualified. You see, this is this is a speaker corner. It's a street. Anyone jump there, and he's supposed to he becomes, yeah. Suddenly, he's a Christian, and maybe I'm, I'm I'm not saying, but even those Muslims and maybe those Christians. None of them he practiced what he is talking about. It it is mostly it's a it's a it's a place to shout and kids talk, but no professional talk and no real debate is happening. And Muslims they are the best in mockery, you know. So they yeah. try to intimidate you, like you know they did they, they did hit a woman. Her name is Hatun, you know. They hit her. Yeah, yeah, but, I saw that. Yeah, one. so so this is who they are, you know. They are not really defending Islam. They are cowards trying to defend Muhammad by intimidation. And all of this doesn't work with me. And now, actually, we will have many, many people will be graduated from the school of a Christian prince, and they will make Muhammad falafel before even without using oil, they will fry him. <laughs> yeah. That, so yeah. anyway, thank you, Ahmed. We will see if I can yeah. take one more call. And, no worries. Uh, thank you, CP. All right. Thank you, yeah. man. You we have will, a good day. All right. We will pray for you. We will pray for you and for the people of uh, Yemen, uh, the Muslims there. Uh, to end the war there and the evil of Islam stop wherever Islam goes war come and we pray that all the Muslims all your family they will find the truth and the truth will set them free and this is the good thing about Christ he said love your enemy bless those who curse you so my friend Ahmad we say may the Lord bless your family bless your mother bless your father bless, bless your ch uh, children if you have any may the Lord bless all people who they love the truth for Jesus is the truth and the second you love the truth you are in love with Jesus for no truth except Jesus. God bless you, my friend, and I hope to God hear from you, you soon. Take care. Thank you, CP. You have a good day, all right, man? All right. <clears throat> all right. Let us see. Okay. Muslim here. All right. We have a Muslim. This Muslim, his internet is not functioning. Let us see the phone one. I am a Muslim from Pakistan. Usually the one who say that is ultimate fart. <laughs> okay, a Muslim from Pakistan. And then you will find that he is from, from Africa. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Okay, wow. forget about this guy too. Uh -uh. Anyone else? Uh, okay, Muhammad. Muhammad. Why everybody is internet not working? Let's try a different person. <coughs> well, I don't know. Look like uh, Skype. Those Muslims, they say to me, call us, and we try to call them. Their internet is not working. <coughs> Uh, <coughs> if you are a Muslim, you like me to call you, just text me, please. Says I'm a Muslim, please call me. Don't send me a message so waving your hands, you know. Just tell me that you are a Muslim and you like to be called, and we are live in YouTube. So, what is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet? There is no proof except the opposite. 
والمحمد هي سعيد أو هي كلين That plague will never enter Mecca. Okay, there's a Muslim trying to call me. Let us see. <clears throat> oh, we have a Muslim saying white man worshipper. Let us call this guy. I like that topic. White man worshipper. said to me he says white man worshipper white man worshipper <clears throat> first of all find me one verse in the Bible describing Jesus as a white man nowhere the one who is proud about the whiteness of a man is you Muslims nobody speak about how white he is Only Muslims, they praise the white man Muhammad, the white man Muhammad worshippers. And have the strength to look up at him, nor was it tedious to look down at him. He was a comfortable sight to look at. Lahu rufaqa yahufuna bih. They had friends say something. They used to hearken to what he used to say. Wa in amara. تبادروا إلى أمره and thick as edge أقرن his eyebrows were arced but they were not joined it was separated in summit فعليه الوقار when the prophet is so pretty he was silent guys we have to admit the prophet was so pretty striking appearance he's so pretty ظاهر الوضاء أبلج الوجه Radiant face, uh -huh. Hassan al Khalq, beautifully created. The pretty, who is the white man worshipper? And look at the drama music behind, and what is that? Aren't you worried that there is many homosexuals, they will go and do something to Muhammad? They will love him? They would like to share the bread, the, the bed with him? Especially your God, he says, whatever you wish in the heaven, they will convert to Islam. And then they go to heaven, they says, we want to sleep with Muhammad. Look how pretty Muhammad is. And then one of the funny statements here in this video, we don't want to play it all because it's hilarious. A man, he come and he look at the moon. He come in the middle of the darkness. When he spoke, it was audible and clear almost commanding and overtaking ajmal nas wa abhahum min ba'id from afar the most striking and outstanding in appearance wa ahsanuhum wa ajmaluhum min qareeb and when he came near the best of them and the most handsome of them in closeness hulwul mantiq <laughs> Who is the white man worshipper? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Let us go to the moon. When the guy he found he saw the prophet, he looked at the moon. He looked at the prophet. He looked at the moon. He looked at the prophet. He looked at the moon. He looked at the prophet. And for sure, the prophet is more white than the moon. Rasulullah. <laughs> Anas ibn Malik says, he says, I came out one night, uh, him, uh, I came out one night that was the full moon night. Absolutely. Brother, look how emotional, look how emotional, brothers and sisters. The Sheikh, he have tears in his eyes, he cannot continue more. The Prophet is so pretty. 
He's so pretty with the guy he saw him at night. He could not stop. Like, look at the emotion, brother and sister. Is Allah Akbar? Allah Akbar. Wait, wait, where's my tissues? What the heck? The guy was coming at night. At night? Many things happen at night. Be aware. Uh, in, I came out one night that was the full moon night. Look at the emotion, look, look, look. Look at the action. And I looked at the moon and in the desert understand the moon is, is an awesome sight. Uh -huh. It is smooth. It is radiant. It is clear. Uh -huh. It is gentle uh -huh. compared to the scorching sun right. at which they are used to. So the moon was the epitome of beauty. So he says, I came out at a full moon night and I looked uh -huh. at, the, at the moon and I saw it beautiful, handsome. So I said, let me go see if the moon is more handsome or my prophet is more handsome. Are you kidding me? Are you stupid or what? You are comparing the prophet of Allah, the most handsome boy to the moon. What's wrong with this guy? Don't you know the answer already? I mean, how in the world even you think about it? Don't you know that there's no more, nobody is more pretty than the Prophet? Who the Hadith says his under arm is so white, his thigh is so white, his belly bomb is so white, his face is so white. And the funny, the Muslim says, white man worshipper. Not a single verse in the Bible speak about Jesus as white or his color and how good looking he is. Because we don't fool a look. Secondly, all those stories is a fabrication. Muhammad, he have no teeth. All of us renew the story, how they broke his teeth. So when Muhammad he recited the Quran, he says, Bismillah la malafim, al amr al thalatha tafim. Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik have teeth. If Zakir Naik with teeth, he cannot say Bismillah al Rahman al Rahim. What about a man who lost his teeth? I mean, the guy, he don't even have teeth. And if he is so good looking, why the father of Khadija, he don't want him to marry his daughter? even though she is 20-something years older than him, and she have two husbands before him, still he don't want him. He's so pretty, man. Okay, what happened? And the guy, he went in the, st in the street, and he saw the moon. By the way, each time I see the moon at night, I go there, I look at the prophet, I look at the moon. I look at the prophet, I look at the moon. And then I look at the prophet, and I don't want to look at the moon no more. That's it, I give up. I'm so disappointed with the moon. I thought always the moon is so beautiful. It turned to be no. He lost the competition for a guy, his name is Muhammad, and he's an Arab, who take a shower with dead dogs and warm blood from period. Alex says, he says, I came out one night, uh, in, uh -huh. I came out one night that was the full moon night. I looked at the moon and in the desert understand the moon is, is an awesome sight. Absolutely. It is smooth, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. it is radiant, mm -hmm. it is clear, uh -huh. it is gentle uh -huh. compared to the scorching sun Absolutely. at which yeah. they are used to. Mm -hmm. So the moon was the epitome of beauty. Uh, yeah, come on man, what the drama is about? What happened next? I mean, are they going to get married or not? After he noticed that Muhammad is more pretty than the moon, did he marry Muhammad? Moon is more handsome or my prophet is more handsome. No Let me see if that is more beautiful or the prophet is more beautiful. Uh -huh. So I went uh -huh. and I saw him standing afar. Uh -huh. So I looked at his face and I, I looked look at, at the moon and I looked at his face and I looked at the moon and I looked at his face and I looked at the moon and he looked at the face. So I went and I saw him standing afar. So I looked at his face and I looked at the moon standing afar. So I looked at his face, at his face, and I looked at the moon, at his face, and I looked at the moon, at his face, and I looked at the moon, at his face, and I looked at the moon, and I looked at his face, and I looked at the moon, at his face, and I looked at the moon, and I looked at his face, and I looked at the moon, 
at his face and I looked at the moon and I looked at his face. That's it, man. I'm getting dizzy now. <laughs> and we are talking about white man worshiper. When all the video is about how white he is, his face. Hello. Hello. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Hello. Yes, I, I want to say to you. You want what? Don't. I want to tell you. Yeah, why you are changing your voice? No, no. Not changing okay, my speak, voice. Uh, stay a little bit away from the microphone and speak it clearly, please. Go ahead. <clears throat> I want to tell you. Yeah. Why are you confirming your place in Hellfire every single day? I what? I am what? You are confirming your place in Hellfire. I don't understand. I'm confirming what? Your place in Hell. Oh, I will go to Hell. Well, the Quran says I will go to Heaven. Isn't it the Sorry. Quran says all the Christians will go to heaven? No, it does not say all Christians. Okay, are you sure? Yes. All right, read with me this verse then. He will go in front of everybody. And then you have to apologize for being ignorant about your Quran. Here we go. This, oh, no, don't tell me, don't tell me. You know, here we go. This is the verse. It says that the Christians, the, the Jews, and the Sabian, all of them, they will go to heaven. Hmm? Those are the Christians who followed Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Oh, no problem, but this is in the time of Muhammad, my friend. But in the time of Muhammad, all of them, they believe that Jesus is God. So here it says, those who they are Christians, those who they are Jews, those who they are Muslim, even Sabian who worship stars, they will go to heaven. Chapter 2, verse number 62. Go ahead. Okay. Unitarian Christians. I believe they have chance to go to heaven. Doesn't matter. Unitarian Christian, I, they believe still. The Unitarian Christian, they believe that Jesus is God. No, they don't. They do. I know. I know Christians. No, you do not know. Unitarian Christian, they believe Jesus is God. All what they say, there's no father, there's no son, there's no, there's no three. This on. So they say Jesus is the same as the father. This is what the Unitarian Christians. So you're ignorant again. So now you get your prophet busted. So those who believe that Jesus is God, they will go to heaven. This is what the Quran says. You know, the Quran says, when, when Allah is talking to you, why don't you accept him? Why don't what? Can you stay what? a little bit from the microphone? Because you are too close, I think. Why don't you accept Allah? That's what I'm saying. Why I don't accept Allah? Give me a reason to accept Allah. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah is the one who closed our heart? So how am I going to accept Allah when he is the one who oh. sees our heart? Didn't Allah say, what? after that, what didn't Allah say in the Quran, we have created man and jinn for hell? He created man and jinn for hell? No, that that's what it says, right? Then uh, you guys like to say, see, Allah created uh, us for hell. That's what you guys like to say, but you guys don't read the verse after that Allah says we have no, given... No, we, we will read the verse after it. Here we go. It says, chapter 4, verse number 88, it says... That Allah, Allah saying to Muhammad, are you going to guide those who Allah deceived? Why are you going to that verse? Why not? This is the verse I'm quoting for you. We are quoting oh. different verse now. And you can give me the verse, the other verse, so we can laugh at it too. Which verse okay. are you talking about? Which let's, verse are you talking about? Give me the verse. Which verse are you talking about? Allah says we gave them Which eyes. verse? Which verse? Give me the verse. What the verse number? Chapter? Verse number. Don't you know? You are a rabbit. No, I'm not. You know, there's the, uh, your prophet, he keep making poopoo. I don't know which one you are talking about. So which poopoo you are talking about? Give me the chapter. Give me the verse number. No, I will say it and you you are a rabbit. Okay, so say you, it in you know. Arabic. Go ahead. No, I, I don't know Arabic. I will say it in English. But, <laughs> you, you, no. but the Quran was not given to Muhammad in English. Say it to me in Arabic. Oh my God, Allah says... Don't say, oh my God, say, my Allah. Uh, God is a, is a pagan word according to Muslims. So why do Muslims use it? Is it the word God used by the pagan? Why do oh. you use it? You have to say, oh my Allah. So you are telling me okay. Jesus was helpless on the cross when he said, Allah, Allah, why have you forsaken me? Nowhere Jesus, he said, Allah, Allah. This is Ili, Ili. What Ili, Ili have to do with Allah? Is your God is Ili? I mean, you can call him Ili, so what? 
Ah, so why Allah He says that He is Allah? Is Allah is, a, is, is Allah is a, is, a, is, a, is a Allah is a name or a word mean God? Allah means God, the God. Oh, so it's not a name. And Eli, no, no, Eli, no, no. I'm asking you: Is Allah a word mean God, or it is a name of your God? It it is a word mean God. So why you Muslim you say there's no God but Allah? So you should say there's no Allah but Allah. We have look. There is no God but God. We have to say Allah, meaning the qualities of do God. You that say, no, don't tell me quality. Do you say there's no Allah but Allah or you say there's no God but Allah? There is no Allah but Allah. Oh, okay. So Allah. So what What Allah mean? You tell me. You tell me. Go ahead. What What? What Allah mean? I think it means God. Okay, so uh, Allah is God. Allah is not an, a word mean God then. Allah means the God. Uh, the God. The true God. The okay. true God. Okay, Even okay. Guys, so your finger says that. Okay, hold on. You, what, what? What? Even what? Even that Jew, Tobia Singer, he also says that Allah means the God. My, true my, God. my toe? My toe say Allah is God? No, Tobia Singer, don't you know that Jew? Uh, Tovia Singer, okay, do you, do you accept what Tovia Singer he said? I don't accept everything because he rejects no, Jesus. Either you is... No, either you accept him or not. You just say Tovia Singer he said that. So he rejects Jesus, that means he rejects Muhammad too. He rejects Muhammad to be a prophet because the Quran confirmed that this is Jesus, correct? So you are you are asking me to ask a liar, according to your religion, to prove a point. Just how stupid you are. No, because they he refused don't. Jesus. It, you are the one who said he refused Jesus. So if he refused yeah. Jesus, why you accept somebody? The Quran confirm him to be a fraud, a liar, and you are saying to me, ask him. I, I never said ask him. You said you said you said to River Singer it, confirm to River Singer yeah. confirm. But isn't it to River Singer is the enemy of Jesus? Okay. Uh, isn't it him the enemy of Islam? No, he is the enemy of Jesus that is mentioned okay, in the Bible. Because, Quran. because isn't it the Quran says the one is enemy to the Prophet Allah, he said is enemy of Allah? Yes. Okay, and you just said he is the enemy of Jesus. <laughs> no, the, the quality of Jesus mentioned no, he don't, in... he don't accept Jesus at all. He says Christ did not come yet. He don't believe he's a prophet. So you are a fraud again. And l listen, isn't it to a singer, he said that the, 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 the story of Jesus being born of a virgin is coming from the Greek mythology? This is a lie? Look, a lot of the things I disagree so with him. So why you mention somebody, you know, a lot of things that is not, me. Okay. He's, oh, dude, he's if, not you wanna, if you want to prove me wrong, don't mention somebody is an idiot. You don't even dare to speak to me. At least give me something from your religion. Now, I'm, I'm asking you, is Allah, is a word mean God or it is a name? Because I can open right now a very Islamic official website and they will say Allah is the uh, the unique name of God, not a word mean God. Okay, so it could be your name. What mean could be? So you are a Muslim all your life. You do not know your God name? I know his name Allah, okay? I can call him Ar Rahman, I can call him whatever. Okay, hold on. Did you say Ar Rahman? Yeah. Okay. Who is Ar Rahman? Ar Rahman, the merciful, my Allah. No, no, who is Ar Rahman? Who? God, God is merciful. This is not the question. Who is Ar Rahman? Oh, okay. Ar Rahman Rahim. Okay, who is Ar Rahman? Why are you repeating the same thing? Who is Ar Rahman? Allah. So who is Allah? God. Oh, okay. And when the first time Muhammad he said the word Ar-Rahman? I don't know. Like in the starting of the Quran. No. Hey, guys, did you hear it? In the start of the Quran. But according to the Quran, chapter 17, verse 110, the first time Muhammad he used the word Ar-Rahman, it was there. And this was many years after Muhammad claiming to be a prophet. And you are the one who said that in the start of the Quran, so you Muslims corrupt the Quran because before that date, 
Nobody used the word Rahman. First time it was in chapter 17. Read it. Chapter 17, verse 110. The Arab they said to him, Okay, we know that your God Allah is an, his, his name is Allah, and now you are saying in the name of a Rahman. So who's a Rahman? And then Muhammad he said to them, Allah told me to tell you this. Say to them, O Prophet, call upon him as Allah, or call upon him as a Rahman. Call him whatever name you will. <laughs> I call him potato. So you're a prophet. He did not call the name of Ar-Rahman in the beginning of the Quran. And when the Muslim they bought the word there, they are corrupting the Quran and the proven in front of you. We can open the interpretation and everybody will see in a second that Muhammad never, never, never used the word Ar-Rahman before. What happened? Suddenly Muhammad discovered that his God have a new name. You say Christian Prince. Christian Prince. Yeah, what? what, what? I, I'm here to save you. I'm here to save you from hell. Oh, I don't okay. want... Hold on, hold on. You want to save me from hell? Yes. Are you saved from hell? Me? Yeah. Alhamdulillah, as long so, as I... So why the Quran, why the Quran says, Not not a single one of you, but he will enter hell. You see, that is an, a perfect example that you are deceiving your audience. Okay, I want you to answer, don't you? Let us say, and let us say for the sake of argument, you are right. Get me busted. Why the Quran saying, Ma min kumu illa wa you are not even one of you, but he shall enter hell? I'm going to get you, Pastor, right now. Mm, answer. Hell doesn't literally mean we are going to go inside of hell. Ah, yes. you will go in the attic of the hell. You will not no. go inside the hell. <laughs> Our Prophet ﷺ explained this. There is a bridge. <laughs> there is a bridge. Oh, okay. Upon which everybody will walk. Okay. Yeah. And Prophet will be saying, Ya Allah, have peace upon them. Hmm. Have mercy upon them. Okay. Every Prophet will be saying that. Even Jesus will be saying that okay, about but, but his... Tell me, tell me, what happened to you in the bridge? On the bridge, we have there is hellfire underneath the bridge. Hmm. And every person has to go uh, cross the bridge to go to Jannah. So you, Allah will barbecue your ass when you are going over the bridge? No, Allah will save us in, in a split second. We won't even feel anything. Hmm. Muslims okay. won't feel I anything. Want you, I want you to read for me chapter 21, verse number 91. It says that all of them, they are waridun to Jahannam. Waridun. What waridun to Jahannam mean? It means you will enter hell. Do you agree with this? Uh... Translate in English like I want to see the translation. Please. Chapter 21, you can open it from your side. It says, Antum laha waridun. All of you will enter hell. Waridun mean you will enter hell. Do you agree with the translation? Well, and that will make you even the fuel of hell. Oh, so, but this is not what it says in here what in English. Uh, go, tell me what it says. No, I am seeing your screen. It's okay. not saying everyone will enter hell. Where does it say everyone will enter hell? Uh -huh. But this is the kuffar. The kuffar will not enter hell, all of them? <laughs> okay, the kuffar... <laughs> <laughs> okay, look. you just said, you just said, it doesn't say that everyone will enter hell, but you just said to me that if you don't believe in Allah, everybody will enter hell. And now in wait. the person in front of you, according to your understanding, it doesn't say everyone will enter hell. Wait, wait, let me explain. That was... Explain, explain. I got confused. Ah, okay. It, this you, means... You always get confused no, or from time to time. Even, even kafirs will walk, but they will fall from the bridge. They ah, will fall to hell. Yeah, there's holes in the bridge. You know, the, like the hole will be bigger and the uh, curve. Okay, like the filter. Okay. But here it says, Waridun. What you doing mean you will enter hell in this verse. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah they will enter it. Okay. They so okay, so now we agree that what you doing mean will enter hell. No problem. Here we go. The Quran say the same. That all the Muslims to hell, they are what you doing. And here the verse. All yeah, yeah. the Muslims will enter hell. I explained to you, but you, you no, again... You cannot explain to me. Are you a scholar? Are you a scholar? I'm telling you, okay. there is a bridge. We will walk from the bridge, but okay, my friend. Okay, 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 okay. What about we see what the scholar says about this? What do you think? 
Okay, let's see what this. In the is. translation here, it says you will go over it, but the Quran says, "Worry, do Let's see if the translation is accurate. We go, and we will see, and everybody will laugh in in a second. Chapter nineteen, verse number seventy-one. This is nineteen. Mm, not one of you, but it but, will. But, 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 hold on, hold on, my friend. We will see the scholar, not you, not me. The scholars, you know better, right? This is your shake. This this is top notch shake. He eats shawarma every day, not like you and me eat falafel. So look at this. <clears throat> this is a jalalain. I want you to read with me in this in the screen, please. It says, "There is not one of you but shall come to it, which is the hell, that shall enter hell." Do you see it? No. Oh, okay. No. Yeah, yeah. That that he shall he will enter it. Okay, so why your scholar says all Muslims will enter hell? You see, enter does not mean we will be burning in hell. Ah, okay. So Allah will make you enter hell to do what there? Tour? There is a bridge over it. So the hell... My friend, what bridge? Already you are in. You are in, in. The, the hell. Uh, uh, over my friend, you hell. are in. You are in. It says enter hell. Okay, well, you will enter hell to do what? Tourism? Take selfie? Look, again, I, I would say it, Allah, it means over it, not enter. Okay, let me make it simple for you. Is your prophet going to go to heaven? Of course, he's guaranteed. He's indeed. So why your prophet says no? Is he lying, you think? He never says no. Well, here we go. Your prophet says that there's no guarantee he will go to heaven unless Allah, he warp him with his mercy. Are you accusing your prophet to be a fraud? You see, you take everything out of context. Show okay, me the hadith. Give, okay, give me I, the context. Here we go. Okay, give me the context, my friend. Go ahead. I will explain you. You see. Okay, it, go ahead. Let's explain. Okay, I'm reading. It. I'm, 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 I'm listening. Okay, it says Abu Huraira. Read it. Read it. You, you know, you know English. Let me zoom in for you so you can see it better. Because all Muslims, they have a weak vision from drinking camel urine. Abu Huraira reported. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying none of you will be rescued by his works. He was asked if not even he would and replied not even I unless Allah covers me with his mercy. Mm -hmm. But if you keep to the straight path are moderate, pray morning and evening and part of the night and earnestly practice moderation you will reach. Yes, that's it. Yes, that's it. Yeah, but your prophet says that all the work he did will not grant him heaven unless Allah warp him with his mercy. Yes, yes, of course. That is the part of it. You know, we worship God mm. and then he will see, he will appreciate it and he okay. will enter us with his okay. mercy. Okay, but do you agree with your prophet saying that your work will not rescue you? You see, you are changing the topic now. You said, topic. No, no, I'm not changing the topic because we, we want to get to the conclusion. Do you agree with him when he said that your work will not rescue you from hell? It is, he, he is not saying you do not need to work. You this, have this to another question. Work. No, he, he said that because if your work will not rescue you, that means your work will not rescue you. That's it. See, when we work, Allah's mercy comes, then both together no we no he says your work will not rescue you and then in different hadith he says la yuniji he amalo his his deeds will not rescue him so is your work required in islam to go to heaven or not of course it's required but allah's mercy is what we we do work because so, we so, allah's mercy. so why you are why he is saying that your work is not required. Where does he say it's not required? So it says it's not required because it's not going to rescue you. Where does it say it will not rescue you? 
it says it clearly that your work will not rescue you what's wrong with you are you blind that the hadith that i just read yes it says your work will not rescue you i'm telling you it means only work is not enough it, it says only work is not enough yes you have to have allah's mercy too okay uh, oh, okay let me okay it. okay hold on hold on hold on uh when your prophet he says your work is not enough what is else enough when we work yeah. allah with his mercy he will enter us he will see we have worshiped him and okay. he will say okay you can go into i will give you one example okay give me there was a slave of allah he worshiped allah for 500 years hmm. and then when he was brought to the scale okay uh, uh allah said to the angels angels enter him into jannah with my mercy okay so that slave said oh, no no allah i want to go with my actions not with your mercy hmm. so allah said oh okay you want to go with your actions and not by my mercy okay angels put put 500 years worship on one scale and hmm. put just the blessing of one eye that i gave him to see okay just put that on other scale okay. so that that the blessing that he was able to see uh -huh. in this world outweighed 500 years of worship. Now mm -hmm. Allah said, "Oh, throw him into a hell," and he said, "Ya Allah, forgive me. I will go through your mercy." Okay, thank you. So all that work of 500 years did not help him, correct? It was the blessing no. of Allah, correct? Yes, Allah. Okay, thank blessed you very much. But this no. is me. But this is me in the Quran is a stupid book. Because is it Allah He promised you in the Quran to have gardens full of females with big breasts if you are having good deeds? So you just said five hundred years of worship in Allah is not going to get you take you to heaven. So why Allah in the Quran in chapter two verse number 55, 50, 25 says that those who have uh, you know do, do the the uh, the righteous things like killing the Christian, raping Christian women, kidnapping children, raping them, all the righteous things of Allah. All of those, if you do it, you will go to heaven and Allah will give you even rivers underneath of you. You are not understanding my point. I understand, my friend. Even you explain it. You said to me, you said to me, it is you, it is you who said to me, there's a guy who prayed to Allah 500 years. Correct? Yeah. Okay. And then, they said to him, which one is the one you want to be going to heaven with your act, your action, your deed of 500 years worshiping Allah or one blessing from Allah? He shows. No, 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 not one blessing from Allah. You are you are twisting my words. Allah said, mm -hmm. OK, you have done good. You have worshipped me 500 years. Okay. I appreciate it. Okay. Now go to my mercy. So he said, no, 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 not your mercy by my action. So Allah said how can you be that arrogant you were able to do the actions because i gave you eyes hands everything to worship hmm. okay it so uh, uh, let, let me let me, let's make it clear now so if you are a person worshiping allah all your life let's say you live for a thousand year and then allah will give you mercy in the top of your act and that will make you go to heaven correct not on top I will explain you if I live thousand years okay and I worship Allah thousand years uh -huh. okay uh -huh. and then Allah will see okay you have worship you have done what I have asked you to do okay now I will have mercy on you that I will give you Jannah go mm -hmm. by my mercy that's how it works okay so the Quran is a lie then because the Quran says if you do those things where is the word mercy here do you see it it says those who do the good deeds for them is heavens and river so the guy that in the is story, the mercy <clears throat> heaven is the mercy oh my friend the heaven is the mercy are you are you are you kidding me so okay hold on he is saying to them if you do good deed you get the mercy correct yes okay so why he's saying to the guy you will not get the mercy because you did good deeds because he is being arrogant to allah he's saying <laughs> Okay, I did good let, us, let us make it more clear. I will go with you. If I am working all my life worshiping Allah, mm. is that what will grant me heaven or my destiny with Allah? 
No, don't change the topic about I'm not, I'm, not. I'm not just to show you how stupid what you said to me. This is the topic. Is okay, it, if is you want to change, if, is it going to if, change my work and to go to hell or I will go still to heaven? Is the destiny of Allah is in total agreement with my act in heaven or in earth, sorry, or the destiny of Allah will change and doesn't matter what I do in earth? Don't go to that hadith. Why you don't you want to go to it? This is the, we're talking that, about going to, we are going to, we are talking about how we go to heaven. So don't run away. I'm asking no, you. No, it's a very embarrassing. It's very embarrassing question for you. You don't want to answer, right? So I'm asking you. A person, the same person. I will take the same person. He prayed to Allah 500 years. 500 mm. years. Okay. So mm. 500 years, and then Allah He wrote for him a destiny. Is it possible that Allah He wrote for him to go to hell, even though he prayed for 500 years? Uh, I mean, if he if he did something that terrible, that was greater than his 500 years of worship, then he will go to hell. What do you mean greater? Like, let's say he did something that Allah disliked a lot, but he also worshipped Allah. No, he did Allah. not do anything. He did not do anything of his own act against Allah teaching. Okay, then he will go to heaven, and Allah's promise is true. Okay, I want everybody to be my witness. He said he will go to heaven. And that will be his destiny. Well, the, yes. the, your prophet, he said no. Your prophet, he said that what is written by Allah will overcome what he was doing and then he will go to hell. Let me put for you the hadith so everybody will laugh. I know you, you confuse a lot of people with this, okay? Yeah, like, sh show me, I will... You you didn't understand that hadith. Okay, this you, hadith. you explain it to me. Here we go. Here we go. It says here, your prophet saying, and this is not me, that a person of you will do the act of people of heaven all his life until there is only one cubit between him and heaven, and then what is written by Allah will overcome and will take over, and he will do the act of people of hell. Read the hadith. Where to it? You see, you just scroll over a beautiful hadith too. Okay, this is beautiful. Go ahead. Yeah, that hadith too, and Allah says, "If my slaves remember me, I remember him." Oh, okay. Yeah. Read, Allah read. Okay, read for me. Read, Allah Allah Allah. read for me, so everybody will laugh. Read. By him, start from here. We are listening. Okay. By him, besides whom there is no God. That one amongst you acts like the people deserving paradise until between him and paradise there remains but the distance of a cubit when suddenly the writing of destiny overcomes him, overcomes him and he begins to act like the denizen of hell and thus enters hell and another one acts in the way of denizen of hell until there remains between him and um, hell a distance of a cubit that the uh, writing uh, of testing over comes in and then he begins to act like the people of paradise and enter paradise mm -hmm. you you have misunderstood what this means i'm listening go ahead i will explain to you okay go ahead let, let's say let me talk about you mm -hmm. christian prince and let's say you talk really bad about my prophet allah mm -hmm. but just before you die you might see a dream in which Jesus might talk to you to ex, ex, uh, accept Islam, and then what, what does have to do? I do, I do, I do. It says what Allah wrote in your destiny, not seeing a dream. It says what Allah. Don't no, don't go. I did not see a dream. <laughs> Abdul, Abdul, does it say there you will see a dream? Don't play games, man. Come on, oh, I'm stop. You know, the, the curry, yes. the curry you are eating is not good. It's cheated. Listen carefully. It says. The destiny overcome him and began to act like the people of hell. So what will what will take over you is not a dream. It's no, a destiny. I know, I know, okay, but I, okay. I was trying to explain to no, you. No, but the, the dream I know. has nothing to do with this. The dream is not does have to do with this. It's a destiny. No, dream. It's a no. Desti it is it a, is it a destiny or a dream? Yes, it's a destiny. Okay, but what destiny what? is? What is destiny is? Destiny is what you 
whatever you will do. No, no, no. What destiny is, is it something decided by Allah? Allah knows what happens. This he is not about knowing. Happen. Read carefully. Decided for you or knowing because it says will overcome. The guy is praying all his life. He want to go to heaven. And then what is written by Allah, there is only one arm between him and heaven. All, almost he is there. And then it says when suddenly the writing of destiny overcomes him. The writing of destiny. Yes, because Allah wrote what he will do before. Thank you. So Allah, no, okay guys, Allah, he wrote what he will do. So it is not his choice to do. No, no not his choice does not mean <laughs> like I'm talking to you right now. So Allah wrote that this person will talk to Christian Prince. Abdul, Abdul, listen carefully. The guy is praying to his God for 500 years. He have 15 minutes left to go to heaven then what what will happen what Allah he wrote will take over which mean the action of the person will change why because Allah he wrote in his destiny that he have to go to hell that's what it says if I look at it from your perspective it no, seems like perspective. no there's no perspective but okay let me make it more clear if a child he died and he is a baby do he go to heaven or he go to hell he will go to heaven directly. According to who? Because he is innocent. Okay, so you are saying it is sin what makes us go to hell, correct? Yes. Okay, so if a child he do no sin because he's an infant, let us say he's like six months old, the logic is he will go to heaven, correct? Yeah. And you are sure from that? Mm -hmm. And if somebody believes in such something the opposite from this, he is stupid, I think. Do you agree? I'm not gonna say stupid because I feel so like you're. So what? He is ignorant. He is ignorant. He is ignorant. No, first show me what you are trying to show. No, no, no you are and scared now. You are, you are scared. This is why you don't want to say because you said he will go to heaven. I said to you, you are sure, and you said yes, you are sure he will go to heaven. So either you are right about understanding what destiny is, and then the child will go to heaven. Because he commit no sin, or you are wrong. Here we go. Your prophet getting you busted. Your prophet. Yeah. He went to a funeral with his wife yeah. Aisha, and when they yeah. came back, Aisha she said to him, "This child, he have a happiness for him, for he, you know, he is going to be in heaven." Why? She said, "Well, he did not reach the age of someone can commit sin." And this is what you said. You agree with Aisha? Muhammad he said to her, "No." Don't be stupid. Allah, he wrote, who will go to hell when they are not created yet and who will go to heaven when they are not created yet and the hate in the front of you. Read it. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Yeah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yeah. There is happiness for this child. There is happiness for this child who is from the birth of paradise for it has committed no sin nor has he reached the age when one can. Why did you scroll up? What? Okay. okay. He said, Aisha, for adventure, it may be otherwise because God created for paradise those who are fit for it while they are yet in their father's throne and created for hell those who are to go to hell. Mm -hmm. He created them for hell while they were yet in their father's Lions. What does lions mean? It doesn't say lions actually. It says aslab, which means the backbone. This is false translation. It says aslab, oh. aslab. Aslab means the backbone because the Quran teach that the sperm of the man came from the backbone. So now what happened? <clears throat> you said a child he go to heaven because he commit no sin, correct? Yeah. This is what Aisha she said. What Muhammad said? No. Because Allah before he created them, he decide where everybody will go. This is what he said, correct? Mm. Mm. So what you said to me, all the stories of the 500s and the, like, but then I'm glad you did not mention the 300s, you know, the Spartan, that would be fit for the story because Muslims soon they will add it, they will say the 300 Spartan, they converted to Islam. So listen carefully. So the 500 years of a praying and the mercy of Allah is nothing but a destiny. 
if Allah he wrote in your destiny that you will go to heaven you will go to heaven he will go a child he is a baby he did not commit sin he is a, even a child of a Muslim family he is a child of an Ansar so not only he is a Muslim because Muhammad he said every baby is born as a Muslim he mm. is a child of a Muslim family and Muhammad he attended the funeral which means confirm that he's a Muslim because Muhammad will attend not a funeral or pray on a person unless he's a Muslim so Muhammad praying on a person he is a Muslim he is a child he's an infant he commit no sin he reached no age of sin yet he is going he might go to hell why because of destiny it says Allah created paradise for those who are fit for it that means good people you, you idiot you idiot you stupid what's wrong with you this is a child he commit no sin no what look, do you know look. it says here the child he commit no sin the, the yes. child the child yes. now is not a good people it says he did not reach the age when one yes. can commit sin and now he is not a good people no no that's not what i'm saying yes he died an innocent death okay so he commit he no died. sin so a person yes. who commit no sin is he a good people or not look what, ex, let me explain the person you... who commit no sin is he good yes. or bad is great is he yes. bad or good a person commit no sin is he bad or good great great person this is not the question a person who commit no sin is he good or bad of course good okay so why he might go to hell let me explain what explain go ahead so what are you doing now so it means that if a baby mm -hmm. like let's say Allah throws in hell that means that baby when he would grow up he would do a lot of bad things Abdul he died Abdul stupid he died the guy is dead and you are saying to me when he grow he will be bad I mean what those people come to me from get out of here man I, mean, I, I, I cannot handle too much things but stupidity is killing me when he, when he grow up, don't call me don't call me stupid idiot when he grow up the guy is dead it's mean uh, when you go like the guy is dead they just came from the funeral you know what if any woman ever made me angry from her I will curse her by marrying someone like you you are a curse with your stupidity when he grow up, he would be bad. They are desperate. They don't know what to say about the stupidity of their prophet. This guy, Muhammad, he is a poopoo -poo machine. Wherever he go, he, you know, Muhammad is the best fertilizer. So pray to Allah, convert to Islam. Oh, make me no make no sense because even a child who commit no sin, he might go to hell. Be careful, women there. Behave yourself. Otherwise, I will curse you to have a husband like this. The child is dead and trying to find an excuse. What is the child? What is the excuse? Uh, what? You don't understand. You don't understand. Okay, tell me. Um, he is talking that when the child be become big, uh, that old, grow up, the, 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 Abdul, the guy is dead. They just came from the funeral. The funeral. Unbelievable. Stupidity is amazing. There's no the stand doesn't make sense. Stupid religion. So it doesn't matter what you do. You commit sin, you don't commit sin. You pray, you don't pray. You fast, you don't fast. You do jihad, you don't do jihad. You kill the Christian, you kill the Jews. You kill yourself. Who cares? At the end of the day, it's a destiny. 
even a child before he was a creator, which means all of us, before we were created, Allah decide where we will go. It doesn't matter what you do. As you see here, the child commit no sin. It's so clear. See, I'm so happy that Aisha, she mentioned this story here because it says it clearly that the person, this person, this child, he is a child, but he's not a person who can be considered to be com committing sin. So Muhammad did not say to her, no, he commits sin. He agreed. Okay, well, he did not commit sin. He did not reach the age. But this is not the reason to go to heaven or to hell. For Allah, he wrote destiny. How in the world this is, can be a religion from a true God? It's destiny. So go to night club, drink, be a child molester, sleep with everybody, do whatever you want because destiny at the end of the day what Allah wrote for you. And not only this, by the way, it's written for every us, every one of us. Even, even the fornication you do, it's a destiny in Islam. So, excuse my language. Each time a male, he use his penis, Allah wrote his book that you should use your penis in this moment, in this hour. And this is the proof. So what good deeds? What good deeds if even the bad deeds is written by Allah, it's a destiny. Muhammad said, and this is Sahih Hadith, Sahih Muslim. Verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in and which of he of necessity must commit. Do you see the word must? Do you see the word must? Islam is satanic. So what the what Muhammad trying to teach you that when you do for Nukate, it's not your fault. Allah he wrote in your destiny that you should do that. When a Muslim woman, she called the sheikh and she said, I became like 30 years old and I'm afraid I'm not going to get married. The sheikh, he said to her, my daughter, don't worry about it. It is written for you already what will happen. The prophet, he says, it is written in every vagina, on every vagina, the names of the one will if it. مكتوب على كل فرج اسم ناكحه. It's written in the in the in every vagina the name of the one will if it. Now, if you are a prostitute, you will have a yellow pages there. Go check the names, and maybe you can find like how many left you will f. So the woman now she felt like okay destiny so I can change it oh okay so it's written for me if this guy will f or not or I will sleep with this guy or not it's written I'm not sure if Muslim women when they hear the hadith of his their prophet saying it's written in your vagina the name of the one will f it and they will go and take a selfie trying to find the name of their husband or their boyfriend the future one and the one who was before. It's written there. This is Islam. Five hundred years. I suppose this guy is trying to be smart. We show him the baby is a child, is an infant. He says to me when he grew up. Anyway, guys, it's time for me to go. I think we have a good time together today. We are happy for our friend Ahmad that he decided to leave Islam today. In case you don't remember, Ahmad, he called me just two days ago in order to get me busted. And he ended leaving Islam. So glory to the Lord. And we hope that soon him and his family, they will accept the Messiah and they will become believers. Islam not only does not make sense, Islam is stupid. Islam literally is the most stupid cult ever. Think about it. If a child, he might go to hell or might go to heaven, even though he did not com you know, commit any sin. So why, what is the logic of this God? What is the logic of being a believer? It's written for me already. It's written, a person who is doing the act of people of hellfire. This person who spent all his life not praying, not worshiping, 
not fasting and not killing Christians and Jews. He might go to heaven because if it's written in his destiny. How is that? How in the world anyone can invite me to such a cult? It's not only a cult, it is the most stupid cult ever. A Muslim might say to you, you Christian believe in destiny, that is false. I can say, we have a destiny that everyone who is born, he will die. That is a destiny. We can say we have a destiny that either we will go to heaven or to hell, there's no other choices. But it is us who choose where to go. This is why Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So either you choose your will, and then you choose where you will go, or you choose to do the will of the father, and then you are welcome in, my, in his house. That is Christ's teaching. Not this is stupid Muhammad saying things doesn't make sense. A person praying his life, all his life, worshipping Allah, fighting, killing, raving, doing what Allah told him. And now he's almost entering heaven. He go to hell. And the one who was not fasting, the one who was not praying, the one who is not killing, and the one who will go to night club every day, and the one who is not doing muta, he might go to heaven. Where is justice? Where is justice? So you don't pay for what you did in Islam because what you do doesn't matter. It's what Allah wrote for you. This is why Islam is the most stupid cult. I hope next time we will have some professional sheikhs is willing to call us not like this idiot who says to us when the kid he grew up and the kid is already dead i have enough of stupid people thank you all for being here i got to go because <clears throat> you can tell my voice is is going flat <coughs> so I, I i will let you go for now and if i can go later maybe tonight i don't know if tomorrow god is willing god is willing but it is us who choose to do the will of God. God is willing. But it's us who choose to believe or not. This is why Jesus said, I am the way. I am the door. I am the truth. I am the resurrection. And those who come to me, they will be safe. You have to come to him. It's your will. He said, knock at my door and I will open for you. It is your will to knock at the door or not to knock. With Jesus, we are saved. With Muhammad, you are just an idiot who's waiting for your gambling machine. It's your luck. It's your luck where Allah he wrote your destiny to be. We don't want the God of luck. Otherwise, we will go to Las Vegas. And the gambling machine will do better. Even Muhammad, he make it more stupid when he said that my nation will be 73 sect. And the Christian and the Jews will be 71. So it is better to be Christian or a Jew from being a Muslim because in Christianity, according to Muhammad, you have a chance 72 to 1 or 71 to 1. In Islam, you have a chance of 73 to 1. I mean, do you see the stupidity? It's like giving you cards and saying to you, if you are a Muslim, you have to play with 73 cards. You choose one, and the one, there's only one, will take you to heaven. If you are a Christian, you play with 71 cards. <laughs> How stupid is that? So the Christian and the Jews, even in the stupid Muhammad mouth words, they have better chance to go to heaven from Muhammad than playing gambling cards. 
for according to Muhammad we place in 71 cards Muslim they play with 72 or oh, sorry 73 and only card will take you to heaven how stupid is that and how we can make this one hadith here match with the other hadith this guy is mentally ill So based on this, Allah, he wrote in the destiny that only one sect will go to heaven and he is the one who decides there is really 73 sect. <laughs> hey Allah, why you decide to make 73? And why Muhammad is stuck with number 70? Everything is 70. 72 versions. 70 times he heard Jesus speaking about forgiveness. How many times we forgive? Muhammad is stuck with 70. <clears throat> anyway so can I have Shia hadith of Al-Kafi link you use in your book six and Allah my friend just search for Al-Kafi book I mean what is that it doesn't matter what what link those link can can expire search Al-Kafi Shia book and you will find a million link for it strange request anyway guys thank you for being here may the lord bless you all and ante will see you soon again this is your brother christian prince humbly was serving you and thank you lord for having our friend ahmed who decide to leave islam today loud and clear and let us say let us see what his sheikh how much he will be ashamed for not calling me to refute me this is what you must do when you don't ask your sheikh to call me. And until the baby who died 1400 years ago, grow up and commit sin. Until then, we see you soon and may the Lord bless you. Take care. <laughs>